Sorry about the wait, everyone. <laughs> I was just checking in to make sure everything was working well. And there still might be a little bumps. Uh, here and there. But we should be, for the most part, okay. Just gonna get a few more things set up, and we should not be much longer. So yeah, I hope y'all are doing well tonight. There's, since we couldn't do a four show Friday last week, what I decided to do this week was do a bit of a doubler, as I've probably shown around. This time though, it's gonna be about two games that might be on the opposites of each other from the sounds of it, but I think both of them could use a bit of love. <laughs> Sorry. Like I said, I'm just still getting something set up, but it shouldn't take much, too much longer. Just hope you all are having a good Friday, you know? End of the week. Sorry, I just had to get that ready. You know, have a good Friday. It's the end of the week. We all went through it. Some of y'all probably got some paychecks. Some of y'all got some just ready to enjoy the weekend. I know I am. <laughs> I think this week was just good for multiple reasons, especially since with spring break going around, I've had a lot more chances to relax myself. But like I said, it won't be too much longer now. Let me just see if I can get everything ready. Oop, not that. Okay, there we go. Just making sure the audio works. Yeah, so like I said... Just getting something ready and we should be ready to start. Sorry if I'm a little giggly. I'm also just recovering from a bit of something, but everything will be just fine. Yeah. So I guess to start off with this little thing going on here, we're starting with a little game called Space Otter Charlie. Which actually is a very fresh game. And by fresh I mean like it barely came out just, I want to say a little more than a week ago. So this game is still fresh. And I'd want to show it off just because it's, well, it's fun. <laughs> Okay. Like I said, it shouldn't take too much longer now. I just really wanted to make sure something was resolved before we start. And I think we're all just about ready to go. <clears throat>
I know, people, I'm starting a little late. I apologize for that. Just want to make sure everything's set. Yeah, doesn't help that that stuff like that happens. Shouldn't take too long though. Okay, <laughs> I think with that we're all finally ready to start. Sorry about, whoop. <laughs> Whew, that could have been bad. Sorry about the wait everybody, let's go. With Space Otter Charlie. Hi Togiyosh. <laughs> it is adorable. You'll see what it's like when we get into it. Checking the software we played as usual. Let's see. I hope the software is picking it up all right. It's very quiet right now, but that's only just because of everything. Wayward distractions. Quantum astrophysics guide. Am I? Is my mic going off again? Oh god, dang it! Am I abyssing my mic again? No, I bumped it by accident. Dang it! <laughs> All right. You do that all the time. I'll, I'll leave it. Let's take the mic and see how it goes. You want me to believe so? Okay, let's take it. Take off. <laughs> Sorry, it's just family's running the head out for the day. Yeah. No, though, I'm not abusing my mic again. I accidentally hit the pop filter, dang it. <laughs> but okay, enough stalling. This is Space Otter Charlie. This game actually only came out, like I said, not too long ago. It actually only came out March 18th. So, yeah, it's a little over a week. And this game shows a lot of promise. And it's very cute and very funny. I hope I could show it off just well tonight. Oh gosh, maybe it is a little too quiet. Let me see if I can raise that up a bit. By the way, Ben, I'm glad to see you here too. Yep, Space Otter Charlie. Let's do the usual thing and look at some of the things here. Oh! Okay, there we go. I don't gotta raise it that high, but at least we have the uh, music level high again. Side. There we go. Okay, let's not do that. <laughs> it's because it's just so quiet on this end, but okay, I think it should be good now. Yep, Space Otter Charlie, ladies and gentlemen. I already started a bit, but let's start fresh, as per usual. But before I start, if y'all can hear me and the volume is okay, as usual, give me a hearty wapo. I might just end up making that like a normal thing, honestly. Such a cute thing to say, and I love it.
K-pop dance. <laughs> sound effects, but we'll see, I suppose. Yeah, no, the sound effects might be a little loud, but yeah, we'll see. All right, let's do this. The humans just up and left. I guess they got a little hot and crowded. I guess things got a little hot and crowded for them. Where they went? Oh. Good riddance, I say. For a while, it was nice having the run on the place. But the thing is, it just kept getting hot. And otters? Way too much fur for this kind of heat. It was time for us to skedaddle. Some monitors are a lot smarter than me. Build a rocket from stuff left behind the humans. Space Mission Alpha, they called it. Turns out getting into space is hard. Ah! No! Okay, fine. Plan B! There. Hopefully that won't be too loud. At least nobody was on board at the time. Good thing, too. That looks like a horrible explosion. They tried again. Mission Bravo. Gravity won that time, too. At least the crew made it back down safely. But, yeah, how is it now? But they kept at it. And the third time? Mission Charlie? Well, they made it. Just barely. We made it, I should say. Into space, that is. No map. No fuel. Just three otters floating through the void. Looking for a place to call home. I expect we're gonna die any second. <laughs> okay, good. Thank goodness. Charlie, Jesse, sent to indicate an abandoned ship nearby. They might just have some fuel we can use. Let's send the kid over there to the Alpod and check it out. This sounds way better than drifting aimlessly through space. I'm in. All right, and that's the story. Humans left Earth. Otters ruled it for a while. Then they want to leave Earth. Getting around in zero G is pretty easy, but it takes some getting used to. You can practice on your way to the L-Pod. Just push off in any direction and you'll float until you hit something. Give it a try. Ugh, what was that inflection? So, yeah. Easy. And I like how these mag boots attach me to whatever I land on. Take a few more jumps and grab that jetpack. Yeah. This game is a bit of a physics puzzle kind of game. You gotta press B to jump onto the various different walls of the ship. And by the way, if it seems like it's very specific, in where you're supposed to point it's not it's because my controller is very rigid on its directions but it didn't give me too much problems once that said let's grab that jetpack all right hey jesse i found the jetpack now how do i use it two frames every three seconds oh god i hope not ven is it like that or is it uh cray let me see. <laughs> no matter what happens, it always seems like there's something going on. But I don't mind. As long as I can fix it real quick, it should no be it should be no problem. Bleh. Let's see. Make sure. Uh looking at it from here, no, everything looks like it's fine, Togiosh. Maybe just gotta uh Restart? I'm sorry. Because, no, everything's looking fine on this end. Let's see. Hey, Jesse, I found a jetpack. Now, how do I use it? Hold down B to thrust. While holding down B, you can steer with L to change direction in the air. It's choppy. Hmm. Uh, let me see here. You're right, it is a little choppy. Let me check my Elgato capture real quick. 
This might look a little weird for a sec, so just give me one moment. Twenty match output FPS. Uh, match outputs FPS and done. Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that sudden jump with the thing here. Just gonna take a bit to adjust. Go up and down. Right, sorry about the sudden jump resolution and no, oh, no, I don't wanna do that. Ah, god dang it. Is it this button? There we go, that's what I was hoping for. All right, how's this? Is it still choppy at all? Also, yes, I see you, Dragon Dude. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I wanted to double down because last week I didn't do a stream and I wanted to do better this time. By the way, I'm glad you could be with us today. Because if it's still a little choppy like this, it's probably just how we're going to have to be for now. In that case, let's just do a little otter dance. <laughs> it kind of looks like he is boogieing. Here, let me guess. Like, there we go. Yeah, with, like with the hand motion, he's like just boogieing around. <laughs> but yeah. If this isn't a little better, sorry guys. I think this might be the best I can do for now, at least for this game. But if that's not an issue, then let's just keep going for now. I don't want to keep this game hold up for too long. But yeah, now, now we can steer with the jetpack. Okay, good. Ah, <sighs> perfect. I was like, oh yes, the jetpack. It's actually it's the same as the jump button, except you can kind of steer where you're going. When you're out of fuel, though, you can't steer anymore. Good news is this game is surprisingly forgiving. It allows you to refill your jetpack in midair. That's what the little meter in the bottom is. So even if you run out, you can just keep holding B so you can just kind of push yourself to other directions. It's surprisingly merciful in that way. All right. Watch your fuel. You can only use the jetpack for a short time before you need to recharge. Do me a favor, will ya? Jump around and collect all those energy pods in the next room. Roger. Name's Jesse, kid, not Roger. <laughs> oh, I love this game. I mean, I say that a lot, so I guess it's... I gotta think of better compliments. You're really lucky that I clocked in early to make it this early. Well, good. <laughs> and that's just an extra jetpack. And we collect all those little red orb thingies, their energy. And then, yeah, we can also jump onto the sides of objects. So not only can we connect to... Whoa, connect to the wall we can connect to objects too ready for an advanced move hold zr when you land on a wall to slide along it landing at an angle will let you slide further this curvy hallway is perfect place to practice yep just there we go you do slow down eventually but it's really good especially if you're trying to move around real fast and with that we're ready to go now it's just a tutorial L pod, one to RAV control. I'm approaching the HMS Tomcat. Co copy that. Looking good, Charlie. Docking procedure in T minus 60 seconds. Um, Jesse, shouldn't I be slowing down? I'm coming in a little fast. Oh, yeah, that. What Jesse is trying to say is that there's a little problem with the donkey clamp on the L pod. What's that? There isn't one. What? How am I supposed to dock to the to with the Tomcat? Buckle up, kiddo. What are you saying? Okay, well, simply put... RAMMING SPEED! Ah! No! Well, that's one way to make an entrance. <laughs> Charlie, are you there? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, I, I think. You could've warned me before I got on the lander. That 
That which doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. Charlie, see if you can access the bridge and power up the ship. Once the lights are on, you can start hunting for fuel. Alright, so yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, oh. Yeah, totally forgot the landing gear. Alright, so I guess to explain a bit more stuff. The blue balls on the upper... Wow. The blue orbs on the upper left are our health. Every time we get hit, they deplete. They run out, we die. Simple as that. Oh, there's some debris here. Oh, well. <laughs> these these otters were desperate, all right? By the way, yeah, I guess you should mention Dragon Dude. This is Space Otter Charlie. It's a game that came out only like on the 18th for the Nintendo Switch. Xbox and PS and PlayStation. Oh, I found... Oh, I skipped that, sorry. I found schematics for a space laser. Yes, spelled laser. Can we build it? Can we? Looks like you need to find some parts first. See what you can find on your way to the bridge. I'm on it. Might help clear some of this debris, too. Yep, picked up basic laser. Yeah. I saw this game being played by... Whoa! Didn't want to go there yet. I saw this game being played by another streamer, and I wanted to give it an honest try myself, so here I am. Whoop. Not there yet. Uh, looks like this place is blocked off, though, so I guess there's only one more place to go. Honestly, it's real fun, though. So let's see. And for now, we want to avoid the that and the electric lasers because those obviously hurt and you know no one likes it no one likes a hurt otter they make such squeaky noises and that makes me sad all right thankfully bumping into stuff doesn't hurt it's just hitting you know dangerous obstacles that do let me see what else i can put here there's something else I want to mention, but I want to have the game show it first before anything else. It's a lot of debris here, though. And who forgets landing gear? Otters. They're just desperate to get to find a new home. And yeah, no, it's sort of like a physics puzzler type, a physics platformer type of game. Where you just kind of float around space, jumping around, and using your jetpack to attach to the nearest walls and stuff. But this is where it goes from just a little bit fun to a lot more fun. Let's go right here. Perfect. We have just enough for the basic laser. The most basic weapon an otter could ask for. Capable of clearing small debris and damaging small enemies. Build it. Duh. Oh. The funny thing is this robot can actually do different poses. When I was testing out the game, he literally did a fl he literally did the floss. And I wish he could have done it again. God dang it. I did it. I built a laser. That's great, kid. Tap Y to fire the laser. Yeah. You can fire up to four shots at once. Sorry. <laughs> and yeah, now our cute little otter guy now has lasers. Otters with lasers. Oh. This couldn't get any more, mate. Awesome. Except for secrets. Let's see now. That's only a little bit of a secret area. Woo! And that was it for the secret area. Picked up the plans 2024 suit. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. But yeah. Uh, all these chips are different schematics for stuff like that 2020. Four suit was that suit chip was for a new suit, and here we have a log entry actually. Start date Thursday, two 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 nineteen four one. Science log, Carrie Rodentia. Looking back, maybe it wasn't the best idea to bring rats with us into space. We thought they'd be great test subjects for our zero G experiment. At first, they were perfect. These rats adapted to space more quickly than any of us expected. Then some some escaped. I don't... 
Oh, more debris. Yeah. Oh! And yeah, that's what it's like to get hit. So they brought rats with them into space, and they adapted better than they expected. That's not a good sign. Looks like I found the bridge. Nice work. Now we can find that power switch. Should be pretty obvious. Should be. So far, those games have been pretty fun. Hmm? Oh, there we go. Power systems online, security systems online, rodent elimination protocols engaged. Okay, that's not good. Because we're technically a rodent, aren't we? Oh, wait, no. Otters are marsupials. Oh, and there's the map. So, yeah, now with the map. Oh, okay, Ada's gonna just tell us. I marked the location of the fuel canisters on the map. There's one right in this room. See if you can find it. Remember, you can view the map anytime with X. I'll just say this right now, though. Ada's adorable. Yeah, don't want to touch those lasers. Those don't look like good news. Just slide around here. Have more fire people on us. And there's one of the fuel canisters we needed. This is why you never bring rats into space. You're not wrong. We, we thought we needed to get rid of them. For more physics fun, try shooting in different directions while you're attached to a crate. I don't have no idea what he means by that. Oh, I see. We can shoot up and down. Okay. Well, looks like we gotta press that button. That's a shield upgrade. Huh? Oh, it's a time switch. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah, though. I really just love how simple and cute this game looks, though. Especially since it's all about otters. Speaking of which, I guess it's now a good time to say, I looked into the developers of this game, Wayward Distractions. I could tell they're big otter fans. They had a lot of stuff. My favorite being that they had a lot of po Twitter posts all about just otter facts. Like, right here. I've been fascinated by historical by historical reports of Earth's wildlife. This report collects interesting facts about the extremely cute marine mammal known as the sea otter. I was right, mammals, not marsupials. Ah! Otter fact one. Sea otters, pups, are so buoyant, they're unable to sink or dive underwater for the first couple months of their lives. It's not only true, but it's kind of cute. Oh. I'm going to me drifting. Because that will... That's not good news. There's the other fuel tank. And it looks like this is a time switch, so we got to get down there real quick. Almost. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of time. We're good. That's not good, though. Ada, those guys don't look friendly. They said I was alone over here. I believe I said there's no organic life on board. Those drones are clearly not organic. This just keeps getting better. <laughs> yeah. You want to be careful with these guys. Not like me, who just keeps bumming into them. Yeah. Thankfully, though, collecting those energy orbs is this... Whoop. Didn't want to go there, but... Collecting those energy orbs pretty much acts the same as collecting health, so... You're both getting money and... Money. You're both getting money and getting extra life and getting extra health. It's perfect. Oh! Glad I stopped there. Whoop. All right. Yeah, now things are getting a little more heated. Oh, there's no one of the fuel tanks we need. No, oh, thank you. Also, ow. This is why I'm glad that our uh, health actually acts like money. Only issue is, even if you can fire and move around by jumping around, you can't move around by straight up walking. Okay, there's one of the fuel tanks. I want to collect all that. And let's grab it. Good. That's three of them. Ooh, secret. Keep wanting to clear that out. What's in here? By the way, am I coming out clean? I just want to make sure. <laughs> I love it. Woo! 
Artifacts too. Sea otters have built-in pockets under the arms, which are used to carry tools and food. I'm loving all these artifacts so far. Okay, good. Secret. There's secrets everywhere. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, just checking out the stuff again. Now let's check the map to see where we are. Oh, we're at the very beginning now. I'll take all that extra health because, you know, I keep getting hit by everything. I'll take those extra parts. You never know when you need them. And let's go down here. Alright, good. Just making sure. And yeah, so far so good. I'm at least glad that everything's turning out fine so far. So let's see here. I know that there was one down there, so maybe I need to just start heading down there. Oh, well these guys are back. I see you. Oh, perfect. So it looks like the way out is, uh, we have to come from that way, so we can't quite go there yet. Ow. I keep running into stuff because I'm smart. I say that, but technically we are playing as an otter that made it to space. You, not many otters can say they have, or at all, really. Let's see. There's an event right here that, whoa. Okay, let's get away from that because just getting being near that actually hurts. I say as I try to slide right on top of it. Yeah, no, we can't. It's pushing us too far. Get away from that. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> God, these things are like pinballs. Oh, that's why. That thing down there spawning them. Well, first off, let me get that switch. Oh, I see. Oh, orbital training, huh? Oh, that works. Yeah, this game is a heavily physics-based game. Also, I really hope that's not going to cause any issues. You know, lighting a fuel tank on fire surprisingly doesn't blow it up. Let's see, gather five fuel tanks. That's four of them so far. We're almost done. Whoop. Ah! I can do better than that. Space rats, three out of four. Three out of four. The Ares system has been more effective than we expected. Then the rat population has dropped dramatically. Ares has taken over many of the ship's robots and turned them against the rodents. Sadly, today we had non-rodent casualties. Ares incorrectly identified Monty, one of our lab monkeys, as a rodent. Poor Monty. Aw. S in the chat for Monty, please. Monkeys are not rats. Oh, speaking of which, here it is. We have at least two dozen rats floating through the Tomcat ventilation system. They're chewing all kinds of hoses and what cores. We need that stuff to breathe up here. Today, Dr. Nim decided to train the Tomcat's AI system to identify and eliminate rodents. This new system called Ares. Advanced Rodent Elimination System. Hope it works. Oh, okay. I should have been more careful. Poor Monty. And it's on me again, but it doesn't matter. I'm here now. And you can't stop me. Mm, we gathered five of them. Now what? You can't stop me! Oh, there we go. Because I think... Looks like the, the only spot left we... Yeah. We need to find the navigation data. So now that we have the fuel, all that's left is to get the navigation data and we should be good. I still feel for Monty, though. Gosh, sounds like just a case of a rogue AI, except it targets everything except human life. 
But thankfully, we're not a human nor rat. We're otters. Nope. Also, I gotta reiterate, the music in this game is amazing. Don't mind me. Okay, you're totally minding me. No, you're not. Okay, goodbye. So far, so good, though. So all that's left to get the navigation data, and we should be set. Oh, look who it is. Hello, my friend. That just looks like a NASA spacesuit. And we don't have enough materials of anything to even get it. And the shield upgrade will give us... Let's see. The aptly named shield upgrade upgrades your suit shield by one level. Stronger shields means you're less likely to die the next time you fly around arching like lines of arching electricity or open in flames. Don't worry, I haven't said everyone's zero G. You making fun of me? Probably. Alright, so we still need to get more parts and I wonder where we're gonna get more parts, huh? I'll take that. You yeah, there it is! <laughs> Oh my god, flossing robots, man. Aw, you cute little smile. Let's see. I don't think it was that easy, was it? Nope. Stop hitting that thing, deactivate the lasers. Uh oh. So far though, we're doing pretty good. Let's see. You know, because it's just pushing me off. Oh god, why'd I do that? I'm right in the perfect middle, they can't hit me. Mouth insert foot. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, I see. Oh, why'd I do that? Put you down here. Oh, wait, I think I get it now. There we go. And then with that, we block his view. And of course, my my big toe gets in front of it. There we go. Now we're good. Give me all that. I need this stuff. It looks like there's one on the other side. So... Yeah, yeah, you can see me, I know. Gotta push this down. Whoa! That, not that. Otter. Charlie, please. Thank you. Wait a minute. Charlie. Oh, I think I just got the joke. Because there's Ada, Bessie, and then Charlie. Alpha, Beta, Charlie. <laughs> That's actually a really cute name scheme. I like that. It kind of reminds me of Pikmin in a way. Because they did something very similar there. Okay. Charlie? Thank you. Oh, I gotta do this manually, huh? Come on. There we go. Ah! Get me get in there. Thank you. Another chip. You haven't found the location yet. We need that too. Jesus Christ, Ada. Chill. The here should be cute, but keep looking. Christ. <laughs> so bossy. Oh. <laughs> oh, legit. That gave me the spooks. Like, whoa. Oh, I have enough for this. All right, let's go for it. Yay. RM plus to have your suit picker. Wait, oh, plus then R. There we go. Let's see. Orange suit, otter orange. Always strong statement 
for a spacefaring otter. The basic suit gets the job done and helps you look great, too. The relic from the past well, was first put into service by NASA all the way back in 2024. Man, can you believe that 2024 was such a long time ago, guys? Secrets. It's been such a long time. I remember when... No, I don't want to get close to that because fire bad. I do too. You know. Breath of the Wild 2 was fun. So was Deltarune. <laughs> oh god, now I'm just like, man, I wish. Ooh. That might be what we're looking for, but that looks dangerous. Sea urchin in spate? Wait, what? An urchin, bring it back here. I'm starving. Jesse, Charlie is doing all the hard work out there. You're just sitting around the bridge. He needs the energy way more than you do. Charlie, <laughs> pick up one of those urchin match wide to crack it open. I predict a huge energy boost in energy. I'll help with these annoying drones. Oh, God. I think I've seen this in the trailer. It's going to be amazing. But first. Okay. Good to know I had to go that way. Okay, and I just gotta mash Y. What's happening? Mega! Whoa! <laughs> Ro robots, fear me! I am the Mega Otter! <laughs> oh, I love it! Oh my god, his eyes are glowing at everything! <laughs> Oh, nice work, kid. You found everything. I've overridden the lock to the door bay controls. Head to the docking bay and we'll pick you up. Roger that. Woo! <laughs> okay, that was fun. I know otters love cracking open sea urchins, but like, man, that was hilarious. Also, is the fire trap still there? Fire trap still there. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you eat a space urchin. Get out of there. Ah! God dang it. Note to self, if you want a sea urchin to get big and strong, just... a sea urchin, no. If you want to get otters to be strong, just give them... space urchins. Here we go. Attempting to shut the area system down have all failed. The system has classified more and more creatures as rodents. Artificial intelligence? More like almost intelligent. <laughs> the captain is ordered an evacuation unit control and reestablishment. I've been reassigned to the orbital combat training facility to work with the practice drone guiding system. <laughs> wow. It's like one of those mission fail successfully moments. You did your job at making a system basically predict a specific creature to be an enemy. And then you ended up making everything an enemy. You were supposed to... What is this like? It's like, you're supposed to be the rat... Not rat inspector. <laughs> rat inspector, yes. You're supposed to be the exterminator, but now we're recruiting you to become a U.S. soldier. Like, Christ. Phew, extra fuel. I don't know why we need that. Rudent intrusion detected. Welcome to your doom. Well, technically, I'm not a ro rodent. I'm an otter. So, can we skip the doom part and just open the door? Prepare to be lasered. Why are we shouting? Oh god. Okay, that seems simple enough. Though, god, that's spooky. Just a giant face. He's not happy. I am right here now. Oh! Okay. Nope, right here. So far, so simple. Alright, you had enough? How dare you destroy my shields? Seriously, can you stop yelling? My drones will annihilate you! Drones? Oh, no, not more of these things. 
Not that big. I have a tiny laser cannon. Okay, so I shouldn't touch him. Oh no, I have to touch him. Ooh, I see now. Oh, this is going to be a bit of a long fight, huh? Well, thankfully, these things aren't that tough to take care of. Alright, so he's Angie again. Let's just go on this side. Nope. Right here, buddy. Ah, more of these drones. Wow, that's a lot of drones. Okay. Pew, pew. Pew. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> All this fine is giving me the hiccups. Yeah, I get it. You want to zap me. Well, too bad. You're zapping yourself. Oh, God. That was not a good plan. Not a good plan. No, you don't. No, you don't. I don't want to be sawed today. I saw what you're doing there, and I don't like it. I'll take those parts though. Hey, I'm right here now. You can do something about it? That's what I thought. <laughs> Insolent badger. You have not heard the last of me. Do I look like a badger to you? I'm so out of here. Oh, we can actually put ourselves with a little space gun. Alright, it was time to get out of here. You go and just look sad and stuff. What's this? Hey, Jesse, I found some plants for a thingy called the reflector. Looks handy. Uploading plants now. Nice. This thing should be fun. Hmm. It appears that this design's a Well, it appears that this design requires a highly volatile element called flectomite. Head back, to the sh head back to the ship. With the map data you just found, we can plan our next move. Roger that. Oh, hi, right, you're just right here. Let's go. What? I can't just fly with me on top in front of the ship like this? It'd be awesome. I think about our little turret system. Okay, fine. Oh, wait. Uploading the space net? That's not good. Looks like we made some kind of enemy today. Great. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Dragon Dude. That thing was called Ares. Nice work, boy. With the fuel you found, we ought to be able to explode without worrying about going to drift. Of course, they couldn't resist. They concur. Nice work, Charlie. Well, let's see what else you collected out there. Well, here's all of our energy stores. There's a lot of them. That's some fine work, boy. I got some idea. What the? I got some ideas about what we ought to do with this stuff. While I'm tinkering, chat with Ada about what we ought to do. Now. <laughs> Can you stop? These otter puns are killing me. I usually love otter puns. Ah, uh, I was curious. All right, well, let's get a look around the ship. Down here. Ah, uh, that's probably a delay. Get out. Wait, what? <laughs> this is okay. This is kind of funny. Let's see. Yeah, so far, this game's been pretty good. Sunders indicate a trace of flectomite at some nearby shipyard called Valence Station. Can we go? Please? I want to build this reflector thingy. 
We're on a mission to save the world. Now's no time to play with toys. Calm down, Ada. Valencia Station might just have more than Flectomite. I detect an energy signature consistent with a long-range drive system on that station. A bigger drive, longer range, and a faster ship? I reckon we hit there at once. That didn't take long. By the way, I love your little grabby... Oh, sorry. I made your shop to be Valencia Station. Though, you might want to collect some more supplies from other locations. Head over to the navigation pad to choose our next destination. <laughs> I'll say... I do like Ada's like little contraption. It's adorable. Otters are in silver is adorable. So yeah, we have access. We now have multiple access. We have the HMS Tomcat, the orbital training, which is a space for space forces first soldier trained here to learn zero G combat maneuvers. Eh, it be sounds interesting for a tutorial, but I think I'm fine. Let's just head to the Valencia station as soon as possible. Voted publisher digest safest shipyard from shipyard for 2020 of 2206 also may be haunted ghosts i want to see ghosts <laughs> i hope you all are doing so good so far i know i'm having a good time with all this let's see okay i'm on board the valencia what's the plan First order of business is to find that flectomite so you can build a reflec the reflector beam. It's highly volatile, so it should be in some kind of container. Check what then? There's a long range ship docked in one of the bays. Let's see if we can um, borrow one of their drives. I love borrowing. It's like stealing, except not as illegal. And again, I gotta say, the music in this game is great. Just how nice it is, how soothing. Though something tells me we ain't gonna get through that scot free. Oh well. We get through as fast as possible. Space rodent detected! Not this guy again. Activating Ares Advanced Rodent Elimination System. Uh, of course. But if I see that right, there's another space urchin here. I want that space searching, dang it. Hi, you wanna get me? Try me. Woo! I don't even know what I'm doing, but this is awesome. Whoa! Oh, I see now. That looks interesting. Jesse, I found some flectomite. It looks bouncy. Good job, kid. If you find a couple more, you should be able to build that reflector right at any build bot. Seems simple enough. Oh, no more hype. No more Mega Otter. Whoa. Ugh! Let's not go there yet. And of course, it's in the middle of some Flectomite. What does this do? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, time waits for no one. No weapons are allowed in the Valencia ship yard. Uh, does my little pistol count? I hope not. I like this little thingy. It's also like the only thing I can use to defend myself right now. Oh! Ow! Oh god, that hurt. Ow! Secret. Let's see. Haunted? Okay, let's see. Fast light atomic scale hyperdrive flash represents a huge leap into space travel, allowing us to launch manned missions into the far reaches of the galaxy. The maiden voyage of Flash 01 is scheduled for next Friday at 0 at 0900 hours under Captain Greg D. DeMont. His language is a bit strong, but his crew is extremely loyal to him. Nice. I don't know what that unlocked, though. Maybe a door down here? Looks like it can lock some kind of lever right here. What is this thing? Do I shoot it? I kind of do don't like how sensitive it is at times. Well, whatever it is, it, I guess it let me pass. Well, what's this thing? Hmm. 
can't do anything with that yet. Wait a second. Nope, no idea. Let's see, where else can we go for now? That just unlocks that. Oh, I see, so those are indeed fire traps, okay. That's why I couldn't get up here before, because that's probably was blocked off by a fire trap. Well, I guess, first off, was there more about one of the ones here? Flectomite here? No, just one of these. Kind of looks like isotope. Not isotope, beakers. Not beakers. Ah, what are they called? For now, let's go flying. Oh, there's more flectomite. Ah, oh, perfect. We have enough for a new reflector. <laughs> and son of a gun, there it is. Oh my god, spooky ghosts. There we go. Let's build it. Ooh. Shiny. Hold R to activate Wolfman Select, then reflect your... Oh! Wait, Freedom Blaster? Well, first off, reflect your wave. Oh, just bouncy. But what does a Freedom Blaster do? <laughs> okay, I kind of see. It's more like a shotgun kind of thing. Also, I like how it's in the shape of an eagle and it screeches like an eagle every time we use it. I didn't even know we had this weapon. Something tells me this is part of a special promotion. <laughs> Whoop. Mm -hmm. I think I need th oh, they are keys. Okay, that makes sense. Dang it! Come on, I can do better than this. Let me grab some of this so I don't die. No, no, I don't have a map of this place yet. But give me the reflector ray. Something tells me it'll be useful. Because I can't go down here yet. Huh, but I oh, I see too narrow to go through unless I shoot it. There we go. Bouncy. So yeah, how y'all doing so far? I know I've been just kind of speaking a lot about this game, but I mean, it kind of speaks for itself a lot of the time. Pretty fun, though. Oh, I don't even need to match the button. I can just hold it to fire. I need all the guns, actually. Yeah. Keep pressing the wrong button. Alright, I'll just stick with the reflector ray for now, though. American ray's funny, but I don't need it all that much right now. Oh, God. Let's just move out of the way. Oh, I see. There we go. Not too hard when you know. And that's one just in case we need to head back. <laughs> it's good to hear. I'm glad to see I'm glad you guys' day has been fun, and I hope you all are enjoying this game. Alright, where's my Freedom Blaster? America! <laughs> I still have no idea what this... Like, why we have this weapon. Because it's so powerful. Imagine... Imagine this weapon with like a mega sea urchin, man. That'd be dangerous. Ow. Dangerous as me bumping into everything. Oof. Oh god! That was spooky. And of course. There's one of the keys. I really gotta do this, don't I? 
Wow, that was surprisingly painless. I'll give him that. These otters are brave. Uh-oh. Secret. Let's see what's in here, shall we? Wheel of Fire. I don't like that. Woo! Okay, I... Like that. No! Oof. Electron suit. Oh, what goes over here? Please tell me it brings me up there. Oh, back here. Okay, I'm fine with that. Haunted, two out of four. If the flash drive works, our first stop will be the palace robotic mining station over more than three th 350 million miles away. The crew of Flash 01 will be the first manned mission to palace, and the new drive should get us there in a matter of days. Something tells me it wasn't that simple for them, though. Whatever, why, is, why is it that whenever it has to do with space, things always end up, like, becoming more dangerous than expected? Like, seriously, every time there's always some kind of space story, it's always like, our technology is faulty, or our technology went rogue. And you'd think that he would plan for something like that. I'll take that key. And I'm heading out. Freedom gun. <laughs> Let's see, what else is there? Looks like you found some kind of key there, Charlie. Seems important, so I picked it up, but what is it for? You can see the keys are collected down in the lower left corner of the screen. I bet there is a door with matching symbols on it somewhere in the station. Let's see if you can find it. I think I saw one of them earlier. It's just this way. I hope this is the matching key. Nope! Of course not. It's never that easy. I don't have a map of this place yet, so we can't even tell if we're going the right way or not. Ah! Yes, yeah, just bump, just walk right into the enemy. You know, give it a big ol' hug. I, got, I whoa! Wait, I've already been this way. Because it's space. What is space da that dangerous? I know I'm kind of backtracking a bit, but I'm just looking around, you know, exploring, space exploring. Whoa. Let's go this way. There we go. Let's see. Uh, of course, I need to use my little pew pew gun here. There we go. I see what it's used for now. This thing does two damage. While the act. Ah! Yeah, while the act ah! only does one. Curse you and your act. Ah! Hey, look at that. Take care of enemies like no problem flat. I still like the idea of the Freedom Blaster, though. Alrighty. We good. Oh my god! No! Ah! We dead, boys. I didn't think they would do that much damage. Thankfully, though, it seems like that's only a slap on the wrist. Not that. Oh my, Freedom Blaster. America! Oh god! <laughs> that was too close. Alrighty. Let's not make that mistake this time, shall we? Hmm, why did it do three on that guy? I guess I'm gonna take more damage than others. Alrighty. Gosh. 
Let's see what else we can do. <laughs> I will say though, the crewmates like pictures are adorable. As adorable as any. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Can I push this? I keep doing that. Can I push this, please? Oh no, I see what I gotta do. Because it activates lasers if it sees me. And with that, we can barely get fried! I see now. Okay. So the next door is up here. Yep, there it is. There we go. Nice. Let's go. Hidden bounty. Whoop! You know, just because it's red and... Br just because it's bright red doesn't mean it's cherry flavored. I don't recommend licking lasers. It's detrimental to one's health. Let's see. I didn't do anything. I mean, it did probably did something, but I'm also just curious about that little pipe thing there. Oh, I see. That turns off the laser. So I kind of have to wait until it turns out. That would have been amazing. Wait a second. Huh? Why are my shots not bouncing anymore? That would have been amazing. I see you, button. I want to press you. I see what I'm supposed to do now. Okay, so let's see here. Gotta press that. I gotta press that. Then that turns that off, but I don't want to go there just yet. I want to... Oh, wow. No, it doesn't even let you just go in there at all. Okay, fine. I just gotta wait till I turn that off. Ah! Jesus! Those things hurt. I don't like it. No, you don't. Yes, you do! Artifact 8. Otter wrapped them... Honestly, Otter wrapped themselves in a young and kelp to keep them from floating away while sleeping. Aw, that's so cute. Not as cute as you, though. You need to die. There we go. Yeah, otters are surprisingly smart and adorable little mammals. They actually know how to, like... They, they're smart. I, I would believe that in the future they'd be smart enough to do this kind of stuff, honestly. I don't like the looks of that. Oh, God. That turret. Because, let's see. I'm... In okay-ish health. I could be doing better though. Press that. Alright. Press that. And there we go. Like, yeah, otters are. Otters can get. Oh, God, no! Oh, no! I don't like this. Why is that turret gotta be there? Can I shoot that turret? Actually, I probably should be being smarter. I should be acting more like an otter. Just get a little bit. There we go. Jeez. You know what they say. Work otter, not smarter. Wait. <laughs> anyway. Well, hold on a second. Secret. Haunted. Three out of four. Space to operate space operations tell us that there's a huge chunk of space junk inbound that will collide with Valencia in a matter of days. They insist that we evacuate, but Captain Greg refuses to abort the mission. Despite the extreme danger, his crew stands with them. We are working hard to launch a new ship before the impact. Oof, that doesn't sound good. A 
just saw that too. <laughs> oh wait, what did you see? No Tokyo? Because a lot of things have kind of been happening as of late. <laughs> Let's see, we got the key. Alright, that's two out of three keys. I believe that's the one we've needed for a while. Let's get out of here. And by out of here, I mean, oh, that's where it's supposed to go. Hmm. This door, though, is still locked, and it looks like it has something in there. Ah, dang. Whew. Yeah. This game's been fun so far, though. I'm glad I've been showing this off. Let's see, how much time we got left? We got about 40 minutes. We're good. We might be able to clear this area before we call it a day for this game. But yeah. This game is utterly nuts. Because I'm trying to think. Yes. The last key should be in this area up here. Or it should be down there and I'm not paying attention again. Ah, go me. I don't like your face. You can go be broken. You're talking about the fact like you saw otter pups that wrap themselves in seaweed so that they don't float away. It is such an adorable thing. Like, I gotta wonder, how the heck do otters live in just the ocean, you know? With no real place to call home. Do they just float above the water in packs and then they stay and then they search underwater and then they just sleep floating on the water? Because that sounds really cute, but also really dangerous! <sighs> Speaking of dangerous, I see why I couldn't do it before. It only works on these bouncy walls here. Well, at least they drop something worthwhile. Isotopes are really nice. Oh, I see. If they get shot once and they don't react fast enough, they just kind of get... They turn into roly polies. Yeah, how's that? These things are so powerful, man. All right. Relax a lot. I can see that. Otters are surprisingly mellow. God, speaking of which, you know what? If I could say something about otters. If there's one thing I've always wanted to go to is, I don't know if it's still around, I bet it still is, but there's this very specific, oh wow, oh it's because I hit the button between all that, okay. There's a very specific zoo out in Japan, oh god, let's be careful here, sorry, give me a sec, okay. There's a very specific zoo in Japan where they have this little opening exhibit where you can go and pet and like shake hands with otters. It's so, it's so adorable because like they if they just live in this like new location discovered perfect they have this like little special like kind of uh, glass case with little openings on the end just so that thanks <laughs> just so that you can go and shake hands with otters it's so adorable <laughs> like heck I have a lot of my own otter facts I could probably share if I get the chance when I'm not gonna die. Like, yeah, there's a special, like... Okay, the music suddenly stopped and that has... That's a little disturbing. Just... I would love to go there one day. I don't know where it is exactly, but I would love to hear about it. I wonder if they're still open, actually. I mean, not now, of course, but, like, when all this comes and goes... And, like, we can all explore the world again. I would love to go there. I don't remember when. I think it came out like mid 2010s. It's been out for a while. Where, okay, dude, if you just want to stay over there, I'm just leaving. Where, yeah, uh, it just whoa. Ah, no. I like that. I like I like how the game over scenes have different. Can I? God damn it! I like how the different game over. I like how the different game overs depending on what you get killed by. Also, that fire just instant kill because Jesus, that hurt. 
Maybe I'm not supposed to go that way yet. Yeah, no. When this whole pandemic thing's over, I would love to... I would love to just go over there and see what... And, like, visit that exhibit. It sounds like it would be a lot of fun. Alright, Togiyosh. I'm glad you could stick by for a bit. Hopefully, we'll, we can see you again when... Uh, later tonight when we switch to the other game. The other game is definitely going to be a lot different, but that's then. This is now. Look at that shirt. Pink suit! Okay, that's it. We're getting the pink suit. Once we get to another Builder Bomb, I'm going to get that pink suit. Because an otter in a pink suit sounds cute, and I love it. Alright, now it looks like we got to go that way. It's going to be very careful, man. How am I supposed to navigate that? Oh, I see how. Uh, God, this is closer to the flames than I'm okay with. Ah! Dang it! Ugh. Okay. Let's not be impatient. Let's just scoot along. Not get toasted. There. America never fails us! Except the dozens of times it has failed. Anyway. There's the next schematic. And I'll be happy to take that otter. This little snack with me. I don't know if when I'll use it, but I'll definitely use it. Not you guys. You guys are not worth it. Otter facts. Oh, no, this is seven. Sea otters are known as a keystone species due to their positive impact on the ecosystem. Kelp forests have been decimated by countless uncontrollable sea urchin populations. Since otters love urchins, their feeding habits keep urchin population down and keep the forest healthy. Nice. Yeah, I saw that. And we Just only a little urchin. There I go. Bye-bye. Please tell me I still keep my urchin. Oh. One sec. Sorry about that. Uh, family just came in real quick. Looks like you found all the access keys. Time to head to the big door to get us a new drive. What's the rush, Ada? Charlie might just want to explore some more. Remember to check your map with X. I'll show you a place you haven't visited yet. Or you could just run ahead and get us that drive. Rejoice! Looks like there is one location up north we haven't reached. Alright. Let's go up there. I don't like you guys. Because you guys hurt. I think after, yeah, I think with, no, wow, we still got plenty of time with this game, you know, we can keep going for a bit longer, actually, so, you know, we still have plenty of time, I'm sorry, the big thing is, is that, and Dragon Dude, I know you're gonna give me crap for this, they just came by with a, oh, that's right, we can't explore this yet, because, how the heck are we supposed to hit that button, well, crap, I guess, we'll be there another time, um, you're gonna give me crap for this, Dragon Dude, but it's just because my family just came back and they brought me a huge slice of Sam's Club pizza. Weird how it keeps repeating itself like that. Anyway, a huge, like, Sam's Club pizza slice, and it's like, man, I may not be a big fan of pizza, but I can't say no to some Sam's Club pizza, man. That stuff is good. Alright. Okay, let's not walk into the electrical bits, please. Let's work smarter. Wait, how did it go again? Let's work harder, not smarter. Wait, I'm getting that wrong. Also, hi! Yeah, thruster upgrade, electron suit. This is the grid with a light dash display that makes you feel like you're living inside a computer. Oh, I can't get either of them because I don't have this weird gem thingy. 
But I'll build the ship Pekka. <laughs> you would give crap at it. Oh, I saw the robot dance. That's cute. Yeah, wow. That was actually a pretty good boost. And I would give you... Well, I mean, I just mean about the fact that, like, I don't like pizza too much, but there are exceptions. Sam's Club Pizza being one of them. All right. Now let's get... See what's going on here. Ooh. Hey, Ada. I reached the docking bay. Where's this drive you on to the salvage? Should be right at the end of this terminal. You're close. If you clear the way, I'll pick it up. The, I'll pick it up at the loading dock. This is my ship. Huh? What? Activating Universal Translator. I said, this is my ship. Oh, this is my ship. I'm the body shall board it, except me and my crew. Um, Ada, I don't think we're welcomed. Some indicate that there hasn't been life on this board form on this board for over 200 years. Press on. I'm not sure it's life forms I need to worry about. Yeah, I don't like spooky ghosts. Also, I didn't mean to jump back there. Wait, spooky ghosts? I said I like spooky ghosts and now I don't. Okay, no, that's being weird. I bring on the spooky ghosts. Hopefully one of them is just napping on the floor and maybe will offer me even free pizza. Uh, give me a sec. Again, sorry about that. I was just checking something, but yeah, we good. <laughs> I'll give him that though. I love the little cute squeak sounds you hear whenever the, you, whenever the crewmates say something. It's adorable. Also, I'm not going back in there again. Something tells me I'm gonna need the reflector ray for this. Ah. Okay, good. There you are. Goodbye. And I hope one of them offers me a ghost sandwich. I would love that. You had your chance to turn back. No, I shall destroy me. Now I shall destroy you. Whoa, okay. That's not spooky. Something tells me I don't want to be in front of them, though. Maybe I shouldn't, you know, bump into the electricity either. You're plundering pirates! I will make you. I will not make it easy for you. Yak attack! <laughs> Yak attack! Okay, shooting his eyeballs. That's not creepy. Ah, uh, of course. Little... Ah! Let's not do that again, shall we? Yes, we're doing it again. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Ooh, maybe not. Oh, I get it. If the shots reflect, then they do more damage. What I'm gonna do is just point it away at him. God, this is not good. What are you going to do now, mate? I see you there. Don't run on top of me! shoot his brains i didn't know his brains exposed actually let me see something wow that works oh god 
No, oh, I got zappied. Okay, I at least no no now know what to do. I at least know now what I need to not do. Skip this dialogue. I'm glad we can skip it real fast. Ada, you better give me a big pay after this. Ow. And I don't care if I'm causing damage by walking into it, okay? It still hurts. Like, Dragon Dude, I should totally get extra pay for this, shouldn't I? Considering I'm risking my life just to get this extra drive and stuff. Okay, good. Full health again. You had your chance. Now she'll destroy you. I love when games go like this. Like, it's cute and cuddly, and then you have this giant headless monster dude. Like... You plundering pirates, I will not make it easy for you. Yak attack! Oh, can I shoot those? Like, I've seen them. He's, I've seen me sell zappy. There we go. Oh, wait, you're right. It is voluntary. What am I saying? <laughs> ah, crap, you're right. I'm not getting paid for this at all, am I? Ah, dang it. Come on, just close your lid. Yarg! Ooh. You haven't seen the last of me! Okay. That's whatever. That's what they all say. Except the robot guy you actually survived, and you're a ghost. Actually, no. Ghost concerns and... Ghosts can survive in space. Oh, God. Why am I making enemies with everything? I'm in order! I don't want to make bad guys. I want to cuddle things. I'm getting, you're right, though. I'm not getting paid for this. Ah, oh, crap. I, I better get something for this. I want my pink suit, dang it. Huh? Oh, I think I see. No, I want more energy. Gimme. Alrighty. So you're back. So you're back for more. Well, really, I just want to borrow that drive over there. Please. Over my dead body. Um, I hate to break it to you, but you don't actually have a body. Hold your wheezing, yeah, we scunner. <laughs> Prepare to meet your end. Oh, that's right. There's nothing to shoot him there now, so I just kind of have to shoot him from here. I don't like the looks of that. Oh, you're kidding me! I gotta go through that? Oh crap! Or I could just sit here and do this. If this works, I'm going to laugh. <laughs> no, I knew it wasn't going to be that easy. Okay. There we go. Told you. I'm in order. All I want to do is just survive. Oh, space gun. Missile launcher. Wait a second. Oh, I guess we got everything. Okay. Awesome. I 
was shooting eyeballs at me. It was like super gross. <laughs> I need his face. At least he found us a warp drive. First things first. Let's see if you collect enough energy to try my latest invention. I'm hoping we do. Please reach 100. Please reach 100. Ah, dang it. That ought to do it. I'll get to work rigging up this drive. But Charlie, stop when you have a sec. I want to show you something. Okay, man. I have a sec. What's up? What's going on, Jess? Looks like you got even up to something. That I hear, kid. I figured I'll take a few more other otters to make a new home out here work. So I cooked up a way to bring some of our friends from Earth up here to help. Really? That's amazing. It'll take up a lot of energy, so keep picking up that blue stuff. Take a look at the list of folk who want to join up. A new transporter, port of fire, can get them here in a jiffy. Huh. Oh, they're not all otters, but that's adorable. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. We got Astrodia, Je Jeff, Seymour, Wadsworth, <laughs> Lucy, Amore, Granny, Captain, Gwen, Icy Bear, and Chad. Let's see here, actually. <laughs> Safety expert. I wonder, Dragon Dude, what, who do you want think I should pick? We have a safety expert, an, an astro navigator, a teleporter, vlog, travel blogger, a sanitationary, a swim instructor, a pizza chef, a communications person, a security expert, beverage specialist, air quality expert, or provisioning. Something tells me I might know who you're asking, though, for. Man, I'm having a fun time with this game so far, though. <laughs> just gonna take a bit of a break for uh, just to see. Safety first, then pizza. Gotcha. <laughs> Let's see. Where's safety expert? He's a starfish! And then where's the pizza expert? There he is. I knew it. And his name's Amore too. I think they're in the in line with the joke. It worked. Head down to the living quarters and say hi. That I will. Yo, this place looks not Oh, it's underwater. Please use caution when navigating this the shelter tank. Zero gravity is not safe. No kidding. You should see some of the stuff I've run to out there. This just wouldn't be worth colonizing without pizza. I hardly agree, Murray. Murray. Oh, I get it. These are like our friends. Also, uh, I thought it worked infinitely underwater. Oh, this is a big living quarters. I assume this is just to get a lot of people here to recruit to talk to. It's amazing, though. Get to know that water. Oh, things also work underwater. All right, let's speak to Jeff. Well, first, let me see if I can build anything. The electron suit we can't. The missile launcher, fast moving and highly explosive. What's not to like about firing missiles? <laughs> I can think of a few things. Now that we have longer reach, I think we should head out to the asteroid belt. Humans had planned to set up mining colonies out there. I wonder if we could find some water out there. Ah, water. It'd be nice to have a place to raft up and call home again. I, uh, I, I could understand that feel. Having a place to settle down would be nice. Let's see, we have about 15 minutes left. Hey, we also have the Gordon Space La Science Labs. An old weapon testing facility, which closed after someone something went boom. I know the next objective is the asteroid mines, but I feel like a science lab is probably more interesting. Plus, this has got to be this is gonna be the last mission for the night. I feel so. Let's go. By the way, guys, I hope you all are doing fine. If you're wondering what we're doing here tonight, we're playing a game called Space Otter Charlie, a game about otters trying to go out around in space. So far, we don't got much going on. You know, we're just doing some missions and stuff and seeing what we can do. 
but it's been a fun game so far. Oh, that's not good. However, probably won't be long until we switch games because, I again, this is a two-parter. I guess with that being said, uh, let me see what other kind of artifacts, well, not artifacts, uh, facts I can bring up about this game. There is one. Um, the reason why I haven't been going into the game's development that much is sadly because, well, this game is still pretty new. There's not much to really talk about in terms of development when it comes to this game. Hit that button and that. Oh, that brings it here. Okay. Are you kidding me? Oh, that has a tri fire one too. Great. Yeah. So we're just playing some. Uh, what was the name of this game? Space Otter Charlie. Yeah. Otters going out of Earth, exploring space, and seeing what they can find and colonize. It's really a cute game, honestly. Though it. It is pretty fun, too, because it's basically a gravity-based platformer, as you can see. Whoop. Let's shoot that there. Move it this way, and let's get out of here. Though, it won't be long until we switch games, because, like I said, I'm doing a two-parter tonight. I usually don't do these because I missed out last Friday, and I want to pick up to where we left, which, in this case, is another game that I've had in mind, which, as some of you have probably seen, you'll see very soon. Now, Otter Facts. Sea otter fur is extremely dense. One square inch of otter fur can travel can have up to millions of hair. That's ten times more hair than the hair on a human head. They groom themselves constantly because it's their fur that keeps them warm in the cold ocean waters. Gosh. In that case, I, I can only imagine like how whoa. I can't move in this, so. Oh god. I can only imagine. I can only wonder what it must be like to. Uh, what am I trying to say here? I can only... If that's true, then I can only imagine what it must be like to try and... Like, be an otter in a spacesuit like this. It's gotta be, like, really warm. Unless, ironically, they have an air coolant system because of that. I could see it. We got a new location. The, clish, the crystal... No, Celestial Stationary. America! <laughs> oh, I still love how this is the freedom gun. I don't even know why we have it again. I'm confused, but... Oh, no, you don't. Thank you. And I'm out of here. Huh. That fires something itself. Good to know. Something tells me I'm going to be needing that. Ooh. A little shortcut. Let's go this way. And... I see. It's a bit of a puzzle, aren't we? It, isn't it? Oh, no, no, no. I see now. Okay. The legend's got to be green, so this one just needs to be flipped. Like that. And we go through here. And let's see where that goes. Activate all that, and booyah. Let's get out of here. A spread shot laser. That sounds handy. Wow, that was very short. But hey, I don't mind. We got a new gun out of that. And some more other facts! You can always go for more artifacts. It really sounds like I'm trying to say artifacts. Let's see here. Dang, we don't have any of our core thingies to do it. Hmm. Oh, I didn't mean to say no to you, uh, Jesse. Sorry, Bessie. So. Who, who would I want? I want the swim instructor. I want to see how the heck we can have a swim instructor here. And it's a pug! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's adorable. <laughs> oh, it is indeed a win-win. I love all of that. Oh, I need to see this guy right away. Where are you? There you are. 
Hey, Charlie. Come swim with me. The first swim lesson is free. Swim lesson? I'm an otter, Lucy. I don't need a swim lesson from a dog. What kind of attitude is that? There's always something to learn. Be a lifelong te learner. Good point. How about we find a new world to live on first? Then maybe I'll take you up on a lesson. <laughs> I like this, man. This is just too good. This game is too precious. <laughs> Alright. Sadly, I don't think we got much time left for this game. Let's see what else we can do. Well, there was the other short mission. Let's do that real quick and then call it a day, shall we? Well, call it for this game, at least. The orbital training contains some extra tool, uh, parts and everything else. Let's see here. Especially since if it's a training ground, well, I have more enough for that. First off, what's here? Commencing training, stage one. Shoot all the drones before time runs out to unlock Vault 1. Roger, roger. Oh, come on. Okay, I was going to say, don't tell me I'm going to miss at the very first round. I'm not that bad at aiming. Alright. This has been so good so far. Oh, God. Ah! No, 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 no. Oh, God, this is bad. This is bad. I thought I had it. Okay. I guess I was being a little too cocky. Wow, this thing does work here. Let's just shoot around like crazy. No, let's not actually do that. That's how I died last time. You're not getting me this time. My freedom gun won't let me get won't let you guys get close to me. This was the one that I messed up on because I was just, you know. Oh, that's why these guys go against me. The other guys don't. Nice. Alright. Let's go see what's up here. Ooh, that looks nice. Otter fact three. Sea otters have no blubber. They're the only marine mammal without the insulating layer of fat, which makes their fur extremely important for keeping warm. You know, otters aren't fat, they're just big furred. Stage two commencing. This one will be a little trickier. Ready is our elever bee. Now oh, she come close. I'll blow you up before I let you come close. Oh, they came close. I'm gonna get back to my little place. No! Oh god, this is not good. I don't want to die again. Oh, the only thing dangerous is the fact that you can get hit real easily. Alright. So far, though, so good. Let's just... Don't tell me he's enough. I think that's it. Electric sauce. Oh. Electric slide. And a shield upgrade. Oh, I need that badly. Yes, let's head out. Whew! <laughs> God. Alright. Let's just see if there's anything we can build and then call it a day for this. Oh, we can totally get this. No flossing this time. But I don't need it. I'm happy to just get this extra upgrade to my health. Yay! A little smile he does. Let's see. No, 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 no. No, that's it for now. Well, alright. Yeah, that was Space Otter Charlie, people. The game is available both on Xbox, PlayStation, uh, Switch, and Steam. And it's definitely a fun game. I mean, <laughs> you saw, like, that was just the first two areas of the game, and there's so much more to enjoy. If y'all ever want to get, a like, a better chance at it, just give me one second, and I'll link it to you. Even though I'll be linking the 
uh, Switch version of the game, you should be able to easily find it on Xbox, uh, PS4, no, sorry, PS, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch. It's a new game still, so there may not be a lot info of it right now, but I'm sure, like, with how fun and, you know, personality, how much personality this game is, I'm sure, you know, there's lots of ways to enjoy it. Sorry, give me a sec. Space Otter Charlie. So yeah, let me just grab that link real quick. And then I'm going to take a short break, and then we'll go right to the next game. So let's see, copy that, paste it here. No, 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 that's not the right link. Come on, Steam. Copy that. And then paste it here. There we go. There you go. On the Steam page now, should on Steam page, on the comment section now should be the link to the thingy thingamabob thingamajig whatever that being said though i'm gonna be switching out games real quick it shouldn't take too long so you know this is space otter charlie it's a fun game i liked it it was cute it was fun but let's get right to the next game i'll see y'all in a bit I left my mic on, didn't I? <coughs> Whoops. Basically, I'm just grabbing something real quick to eat, and I'll be back with more uh, games to stream. I got this next one that coming to mind called Loop Hero. It's a game that's actually been getting... Not to... You know, joke aside, it's been a game that's been getting around which you know, it's not a bad thing the game itself is really fun and of course being made being published by developer digital definitely means it's a good game as well hope you all get to enjoy it in the meantime we're just going to be waiting a bit till then won't be too long though i promise you So let me get some music going and then I'll let y'all just lay back a bit. So I want to get something that's not going to be harsh or just loud or anything. I think I know just the song. That aside, while I get things ready, I'm gonna 
I don't know, I keep asking a lot, but it's just because I want to be sure. I hope y'all are doing good. You're having a good day. Again, being a Friday. Like, I wonder, how y'all doing this Friday? What y'all uh, got going? And stuff, things, food, money. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point. Yeah, like, seriously, though, how y'all are doing so far? You know, how's your Friday been? What you been doing? Sorry, I just got to re-download the soundtrack for this, so I might want to start something else. Let's see. Nothing high pumping. It's just something simple. That's good to hear. All right, there we go. Yep, so I'm just gonna be taking a bit of a break here. And we'll get right to Luke Hero in a sec. Be right back.
That was the most epic eating of pizza I've ever had. Yeah. You know, I hope you all had a chance to get yourself a food, maybe a drink. Chance to just get yourself a bit of a break. Because now we're going to be starting up Loop Hero. Just give me a sec to make sure it's all working. Last I checked, it was. I guess to start off while I'm getting things ready, <clears throat> for those who don't know, Loop Hero was actually, well, it's a demo. Started out as a Ludum Dare game jam project. For those who don't know, Ludum Dare is a game jam that happens very often. A lot of great games have come out of it, and this is the newest one. Where basically, well, first let me get my notes to make sure I'm doing this right. Loom Dare was created by Four Quarters, but it was published by Devolver Digital, which, for those who don't know, are the guys behind games like Downwell and Enter the Gungeon. Some really good games. And Loop Hero is just another one of them that are just starting out, but I promise you, it's going to be one heck of a fun game. Let's get started. Let's get started, shall we? To make sure the game will actually detect under my system because sometimes OBS is a little weird like that <clears throat> yes. there we go ladies and gentlemen Let's see what the other options are for this game has. What I find good is that this game gives you all the options at the start for your audio. Which is good because it seems like the game's a little too loud right now. Let me turn that down a bit. Okay, there we go. It even has sound effects. Oh, that's... This is for the general audio. But this is for the music. Actually, that makes it even better. Alright. We have the option menu on the side for everything. So we can have a CRT filter or not. We can have a full screen or window. God, that looks so good, but I think I'm fine with the Sea Auto Tail Filter. And then, yeah, we can also have things like all this stuff, which I don't want to uh, mess with all this yet, because that's gameplay stuff. This is for the developer page, this is for their official Twitter, they have their trophies, they have their achievements here, which I found quite a few, and up here is their different language choices, which, surprisingly, uh, the English is just European English. But everything else, you can have options, which there's a lot of them here. I don't even want to try to choose any of them in fear that I might, you know, mess something up. But that's enough explanation. Let's get right into Loop Hero and let's start looping. Hero. sky are going out one by but no one notices it no one can stop it i'm racing to the last place where there's still hope i need to make it before before it's too late sounds of agony will quickly fade the world will be destroyed even the memory of it will be gone and even if there is absolutely no chance of bringing it all back there will always be one who is willing to do the impossible. In a place without space, without time, without memories. You dearly beloved. Where am I? I can't see anything except this path. My head is killing me. I remember only a skeleton with a staff in the sky. This darkness was coming from him. Did he destroy everything around here? Just standing here won't do me any good, I guess. To change between adventure, traveling through the map, and planning, stop modes, press the switch, or right click or space. Am I a little loud? Sorry. It's because I'm facing my mic now, so I actually, you know, don't have to worry about having to go back and forth. There we go. Yeah. Let me raise that up a little bit. How's that? If the audio is good, give me a wop up. If not, just tell me what's up. Trust me, this game, it's 
fairly simple. And the best part is you can stop any time. It's not like you're really getting that media constant attention. good now or no I just want to make sure I'm checking my things to make sure I'm not going and blowing everyone's ears out and stuff or that the audio is not too loud okay sorry sound quality okay so I guess now's okay uh, do let me know <clears throat> anyway yeah the cool thing about this game is you can actually play it with one hand essentially since the mouse essentially can be used to control things, but if you prefer a keyboard, they also do that too. I just like playing with one hand though, so you'll see how this all works. You can right click to pause and start whenever you want. I hope I'll be able to find some shelter before nightfall, if such a thing as a night still even exists without a sky of course. Yeah, the meter up here is basically your day progress. As you travel in the adventure mode, it'll start continuing. And as a full day goes by, certain events can happen. For example, in the wastelands, every day passes, there's a 5% chance of spawning a slime. Living follow slime, quite a nuisance. They digest anything they can. Hey, I remember this creature. Maybe I just need a fresh room of memory and everything will go back to normal. Now, the thing about fighting is, and I'm quiet, God dang it! I can't tell, man. It's hard to tell on my end. Am I better now? I want to make sure before we get too far with this. <laughs> like, I guess I could just hear my feedback if I want. I could hear back to the stream, so I guess maybe I'll just do that real quick. Seeing if I'm still too quiet. Let's see now. Like, I guess I could just hear my feedback if I want. I could hear back to the stream, so I guess maybe I'll just do that real quick. Okay, good. Yeah, I can hear now. I'm good. All right, all right. So yeah, <laughs> uh, all actions aside from what you'll see in a bit are automatic. So traveling, fighting are automatically. You can't affect them directly. You can pause it though by holding on to specific things. You can't pause fighting unless you mouse over a creature like this. So we have our hero who's fighting barehanded but does 4 times damage. And we have the slime here who has about 13 health, 3.13 damage, and attack rate per second. There's also artificial life and liquid. All this is actually important when determining some aspects. You'll see in due time. It's hard to fight with your bare hands. I think there was a weapon in the remains of this thing that's not fully digested. And yeah, now we have weapons here, like this sword. All we do is just collect it, select it here, and our damage got up. I think I remember there was a grove nearby. Are there even my memories? Or do they belong to that slime? This is what we may mostly function with. We can equip our hero with anything, but what we need to give them are items like these. A grove card will spawn, obviously, a grove. Which, if you ever need to read, descriptions of items are going to be over here. I will just explain most of them, though, because I tend to go real fast. In this case, every two days, a rat wolf will spawn in this area. There we go. And it's a little faster. Still didn't have a soul. Forest rat wolf. 
I was right, some emotional stress, a few colorful images, and a bit of adrenaline, and everything will be forgotten like a bad dream. Or remembered as a bad... Damn, it's a good thing no one is listening. So yeah. Uh, we have an extra weapon here, the broken longsword. It has the same damage, that's what the equal sign next to the damage is, but it has some extra regen. 0 0.06, so we recover a bit of health every time. And we got extra cards here. These cards aren't path cards though. They're cards that can only be placed around the area. In this case, we have the forest card, which when select, which when put down, gives us one extra attack speed, one percent attack speed, and rock, which gives us a bit more HP. Great. So there was a mountain over there, and here's a forest. The world is just like new. The branches and stones of my backpack are sure a sign of that. Some of your actions yield resources. So yeah, our backpack here shows us the resources we got. We got some stone and some wood. So it's good. We don't have a lot right now, but, you know, it's still good enough for now. I think it's time to get some rest. Yep, we made a full loop and we're back to the campfire. If we ever need to head back, we just gotta press this button. And then we can just retreat. Man, what a campfire. It's cold and dark here. A small fire can solve these problems. This is basically where you're gonna be building up. In the build section, we have a build tree. And there's a lot of things to build. Run with the campfire. We just need one wood and one stone. Just place that in the middle here. There we go. Now we actually have a little nice fire in the middle of this empty grove. <laughs> Congratulations, you've beaten this annoying tutorial. Now you can start your first expedition. Or not, do as you wish. And that's it for the tutorial. All that said, I'm finally ready to go. I won't, I'll try not to explain too much as the time goes back, but, you know, there's still gonna be some things that may need to be explained. Or if y'all see something that you need me to explain, just let me know. This path, everything is wrong, but I remember, it looks like a completely different place, and it's empty again. Do my actions have any meaning? We have a choice. If I need to give up and cry to save the world, I am the worst savior of all. Let's do this. I like the hero's attitude, though. Well, I also like that they're not mute for once. In fact, our hero here actually talks a lot about their current actions. Battlefields will spawn a chest at the start of every loop, but in return, there's a chance that when enemies die, they become ghosts. Simple as that. This is a ring, increases attack speed. Yeah, so that's pretty much the whole game here. You simply go around this loop, you fight enemies, you get cards, and you start building up the world from scratch. With these slimes right here. So let's see, we have some robes and some robes. I'm most likely just gonna play it the way I usually do because I have a very specific way of playing through this game. Y'all see in a bit. More battlefields. Well, I guess I can show this off. The cool thing about these cards is, depending on how you place them, they can also affect other tiles around them. For example, if you place these two battlefield cards together, it's turned this empty bit of wasteland into a blood path, which now spawns a blood clot every four days. Sorry, pizza. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of ways to get around with the world. Mountains are like bigger rocks. They basically give you more health. And another thing to mention is rocks and mountains give extra health depending on if there are other rocks around them. So there actually is some idea to bringing order in this place. If you just place everything haphazard, then you're not going to get all the benefits. Ah, uh, beacon. It's one of my favorite cards. Basically, anything that the beacon is shining upon, so like, you see the tiles that it's touching? That path, now the enemies will move faster. I'm no, sorry. You will move faster on the overworld, and when you're finding enemies, everybody moves 20% faster. It basically speeds up battles for you. It can be nice if you're a little patient. And then we also have meadows. Passively, they heal 2 HP, but if you place them next to rocks, they heal 3 at the start of each day instead. Well, not even just rocks. If you put them next to anything, they'll heal more. Oh, so we got a shield. Put that. Now we're taking less damage. Yeah, these rat wolves are not easy, but we'll get to them. Alright. Gladius, that's a big damage. And yeah, as you can see, we got more stuff here. These branches we get from groves, these pebbles we get from, from mountains and rocks. 
the rations we get for... I don't remember, actually. I think we got that from the groves, too. Noticeable change, though. You only acquire these when something changes by itself. So, like, the blood path or the gro uh, the meadow turning to a blooming meadow. That will give you noticeable changes. That's something good to keep in mind. For now, let's have a chest. Ooh, armor. Nice. HP and counter. Perfect. Oh, boy. Right, my dog's here. He wanted to say hi. Let's see. Yeah, this shield shows us, gives us a lot more defense and boosts. Good to have that. And yeah, here's the important thing to know. Not every weapon, even though the number will tell you what level the weapon is, sometimes you may want to have a lethal weapon for different reasons. In this case, yeah, this gives us a little less damage, but it gives us vampires, meaning that we heal the 10% of enemy's health. Though in this case, I'm always more about the damage, so... I might just want to keep that for now until we get maybe a better weapon that can show off. It's a little slow to start, but trust me, the game ramps up real fast. God, I'm so tempted. Oh, good. So this card. This is an Oblivion card. It's not like every other card. An Oblivion card can actually be used to destroy any block, any basically piece of land that you place down. But I like to keep those for more annoying uh, tiles. You'll see later on. Oh yeah, I should mention. Now you're thinking, okay, we just keep looping in a circle. What else is there to do? Well, you have this meter. The map completion meter. When this bar is filled up, the boss of this chapter will appear on the campfire tile. That's your main objective in this game. Is to build up enough of the land so that the boss will appear. But you may not want to do that right away. Because, well, I'm just going to tell you right now, the boss is really tough. And even with how much we build up, I don't know if we'll have enough to take him down. You'll see what I mean once we get more materials. Yeah, yeah, see, that shield is a big increase, but it also takes away our extra defense damage to all encounter. That's a chance where, is it worth it getting the extra defense, or is it worth it to keep all the buffs? That's where this whole game gets into the The idea of managing what materials you want and don't want. Or in some cases, they just straight up give you an upgrade like this. <laughs> Oh, there's a blood clot. Very dangerous. It would give us a lot of materials, too. Okay. Sorry. Now yeah, we're getting a few more rings now. Rings are probably going to be the ones you switch around the most, because it gives you a lot of them. Let's see this one. Oh, I'll just put it on right now. And let's see. Oh, wow, yeah, I'm taking that. Vampirism and regen. Really nice. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, I got that one. Ooh, spider defense. Okay. Just place this anywhere, and it'll basically spawn a spider every day. Simple as that. That though, like, we'll just start with the game kind of speed for itself. Oh gosh, that's a nice ring actually. Oh. Yeah, any extra armor that get, starts going away basically, if you fill it up, we'll just turn it into metal. Let's see, this gives us one extra defense, but losing all that, no. Oh, let's see, where is it? <laughs> yeah, right. There it is. This is my favorite kinds of rings, because these ones are guaranteed regens. Look at that, it does decrease her magic a little bit, but look at all that boost. I'm taking that. Let's see. Another beacon, let's place that right here. Oh, and there's a reason why I've been putting the rocks like this. If you place rocks and mountains in a 9x9 formation like this, it turns into a mountain pink. These give you a lot of extra HP, and you can still get more by putting rocks in there. But, now a new enemy will spawn every two days. Also, this happened. The goblin camp. 
Ugh. I usually don't like keeping these things around, but I'll at least show it off what it does once. Oops. Let's see. Another ring. So I'm gonna beat that, sorry. Here. Let's see. More mountains. More armor. More groves. Oh. It's always good to mouse away when you're doing stuff. Ooh, cemetery. Ugh, cemeteries. These give you extra stone, I believe, but now you have to deal with skeletons, too. Yep, extra stone. So let's see what happens. Oh, wow. Wow, that's a big damage increase. Alright, taking that. Oh yeah, another thing. Every time you complete a loop, the loop counter increases. What this does is in, it affects... I'm gonna go for a bit on the back when I miss. You missed the tutorial. <laughs> Don't worry though, I'm basically explaining a lot of the mechanics here, including the game itself and stuff. Um, gosh, I don't think I have time to explain all that, so the best way to explain it is... How do I put it? Not bad. We go around in circles, we beat up monsters, get more armor, and they give us cards to basically put out more of the land. And I was explaining was the loop counter, where every time you do a complete loop with a campfire, it goes up, making the enemy stronger, but also makes the equipment you find stronger. It's a balance, basically. Because you actually don't want to try to keep going until you fight the boss. You want to keep going until you feel like you're ready. Ooh. Yeah, these screaming shields usually give you vampirism. As you can tell, you're just like going after vampirism. Oh, you didn't miss too much. I basically made the campfire, and then after that I just started doing this loop. This is the first loop we've done. So, let me see. We've put a few groves, we've put a few beacons, we've put some spiders, some mountains, some meadows, some battlefields, a cemetery, you know, all that stuff. Let's see. Uh, putting two, uh, two battlefields make a blood path, putting meadows next to mountains make uh, blooming meadows, all that stuff. I guess to mention that too, adding 10 mountains will make one of these goblin camps appear. And then yeah. Power your loops through darkness. <laughs> They're fine. Um, I don't see any shirtless dude ranting about darkness anywhere though. Speaking of which, there are spoilers. They're very fast working, but they're very weak. Not a problem at all. That looks nice. Now this is where it gets interesting. It's like, yeah, it gives you a little less defense, but it also gives you extra attack speed and evasion. That's where the game gets in. It's like, you have all these materials and you're thinking like, oh, which ones should I pick? Which ones should I choose? That's where the game gets more and more dynamic. Ooh, vampire mansions. You know, it is a horrible night after all. That right there. I will say though, the Places start to get a little too good. Like, you know, two of the parts. That is really good. More meadows. Let's see. Whoa, that gave us a lot. Ah, oh, road lanterns. These are one of my favorite cards. Basically, it limits how many enemies can spawn on a specific tile. Because the max enemies on a tile can be four, but anything that- but if the lantern's here, it will decrease the amount of enemies to three, so like, we would only have to fight three spiders here instead of four and such. Very useful if you want to avoid all the dangerous fights around here. Anything- oh, that's all there is to the gameplay, right? First off, that's a vampire, but I lose my regen. Not worth it. Here's the thing. Even though it seems like it's all there is to the game, there's always a little more if you keep looking. Stop! Where did these goblins come from? I don't remember remembering you. We remember ourselves. Now give us all you got! <sighs> you have no idea what's going on, right? Why don't you only restore order in this world first? And then you can do anything you want. Goblins must rob. No other order in the world. Fair enough. I guess I don't have any valid objectives here. And you're chompy again, by the way. Ah, god dang it. Does the loop ever get bigger in size? No. Uh, 
me see. Whoop. Cookery. I don't know if I can change fix it this time because it's automatically capturing this game. Although, hi Riv. We're just working, we're just playing through a loop hero right now. Very fun game, honestly. <laughs> I, well, actually, no, you know well how fun this game is. Okay, I, let me see, is it better now? Sorry about all that, people. I'm just fixing things up. I think it should be good now. Yeah, no. Uh, this is... Loop Hero. Like I said. So let's just keep going. Oh, wait. I do have one. How about death? Yeah. Every new enemy we encounter, aside from ones that are absolutely feral... It's strange. Why do these creatures appear here on their own? Maybe it means everything is actually not so bad? And that the world is trying to restore itself? Or that even the apocalypse is enough to get rid of some pests? Yeah. Anything, basically any kind of sentient human character in this game actually does give dialogue to our hero. And kind of gives us a bit more of what's going on in the world. There is lore here. And oh god, this is a perfect example of this. Look at that. That armor piece itself is really good. Like, it has increased that it has vampirism. It decreases a little bit. It gives us like 50 more to uh, yeah, it gives us 60 more to health. But the only downside is that it counter it takes away the regen. It's like, is it worth it to do it? In my case, it is because extra health is always important. Besides, I already have enough items that are giving me vampirism. Though. Oh well. Also, a cool other thing. It doesn't have to just be mountains. Any kind of object in the meadows will make it work. But yeah, no. Every monster here basically gives us a little more insight in the world. Whether it's. Because uh, actually, the other enemy there, the harpies, they had their own dialogue tree too. But, you know, we didn't get to see it because they're. Well, they weren't. You know, they already had one of them in there how this game gets interesting is that it tells its story along with its gameplay. And it doesn't give you everything at once, it feeds you little by little. We'll see more of that as the game goes on. Speaking of which... Back off, here. The vampire! Where are your lands? If your armors need help, I would be glad to offer it. No more lands. No more flocks. Only hundreds of years of emptiness. And hunger. And hundred years of hunger save yourself while you still can. I don't know how long I'll be able to keep my head straight. Hundred years? What hundred of years are you talking about? Your mind is easy to trick, but you can't trick my hunger. It demands its share. Every sip, every drop of blood will go to satiate it. I'm too weak, but you can help me. I will set this crumbled world right. Right. I'm doing this not just for myself, but for everyone. In the name of good. So be grateful of my hard work and just let me bleed you dry. Also, yeah, I think it was fairly obvious what the rotation of vampires is going on. Also, I'd mention goblins real quick. If you kill one of their allies before you kill them, they become enraged and do more damage. That's what makes them so dangerous to fight. Also, vampires. They cause this effect called vampirism, which. They'll take 30% of your health, but they also cause a vampire aura, which will cause any enemy that is living to also get gain health by 10%. Basically making vampires sort of healers. Vampires often own our lands. They kept the peace and helped our settlements to prosper. This won't do it all. How are they just pale shadows of their former selves, both physically and mentally? Apparently, the blood of other creatures can't sustain them. He wasn't joking about the hunger. Even the creatures that stand near him are imbued with the power to devour someone else's life. Yeah, things get 
get very deep. Got so much good weaponry and armor. Man, it sucks. <sighs> Just have to keep going for now. God. Things are getting a little hectic now, though. Ah, uh, skeletons. The thing about them is they hurt. Ooh, treasuries. Perfect. These are some of my favorite ones because they basically give you your materials every time you put something near them. Up until a certain point, at least. You'll see what I mean with it. Oh, God, no. No, give me this one now. You'll see what I mean in a second. These armor pieces usually are the strongest ones in the game. They give you a lot of health, but they usually don't have any buffs. Like, this one gives you about 100 more HP, but... It also, like, takes away your counter to vampirism. <sighs> so this is even, wait, is that a strong sword? That is a stronger sword. And yeah, you'll see what I mean now. Put mounts around here. Get extra pieces of wood. So if you want to, like, fill up, you usually want to put woods all around it. I'm just checking to make sure it's not a chop it up. It's, it's... Okay, let me see if I can try one more time. That's all to you, Tokyosh, I'm sorry. By the way, I noticed that we have quite a bit of people in here. I want to say hello. I'm glad that you could make it to the stream today. I'm just playing Loop here right now, which is a game that's been going around for quite a while. Very interesting game. Especially considering it only came out just a few weeks ago. So, with that being said, let's continue. Gosh, do I dare. The idea is that, like, you don't want to... You don't want to put too much... Don't do this to me. You don't want to put too much out there, because put too much and things will get too crazy. But you need to get the materials, right? That's the big risk of it all. Materials. More armor, too. I'm very glad I have gold vampires in my gym, though. That's making this whole track much easier. I think I might want to actually head to the camp after this. Yeah, if you hold the run button, it'll give you these gears, which means next time you reach camp, it'll automatically ask you if you want to head back. In that case, I'm going to just focus on trying to get more items for the... Get more items for the treasury, and then see what we can do from there. I have increased defense, but doesn't have everything else. I'm not taking too much of a beating right now. There. Not worth it. And as you can see, like the spiders are taking longer to kill now. They're getting stronger. The longer we stay here, the worse it'll get. Another treasury. Yeah, especially with that. Okay. I will just show this off. Oblivion cards don't can remove any of the terrain here, but you can also remove enemies. Let's put that there. And let's put this here. Boom. Just like it was never there to begin with. Alright. Let's place a loop in here. So that we'll quickly head home very quick. And not be much, so much of an oxygen on the front. And like, look at that. One journey, and that's all it took for us to get nearly fill up the bar. So the vampire. Perfect. And watch this. See ya. All that material. So good. Let's go up here. Oh yeah, the one thing about treasuries. They can only work on places that have no surrounding tiles. So like, you can't just set a full tile around here and put it. See? It has to make sure that all the tiles around it are empty. But, I think that's all we're gonna do for now. Let me just put out some more of these, just cause usually they give you extra stuff aside from that. Let's go. Yeah, retreat. And if you die, you'll lose like half of your items. Oh hey, looks like there's some camps here. Can't believe it. Hey everybody, the boy has managed to return. Survivors? Does this mean I'm not alone anymore? 
Where did you come from? Is there a place without darkness? We don't know where we came from, or we can't remember. These people you see are only a small part of what's left of the group, I think. You're not sure? We're not sure. We reached that conclusion because of the abandoned luggage and leftover daily rations. With each day, new signs of presence of people that, as far as everyone here knows, have never been with us. It's like we forgot them. You forgot? Ah, okay. We'll see you later, Toyosh. It was, I'm at least glad you could stick by a bit to see more of this game. Exactly. It's like people disappear every day. <laughs> see you later, Togiyosh. I'm glad you could stick by. It's like people disappear every day, and we instantly forget about, forget they even existed. Almost as if we forget the place we came from, and our families, and maybe even ourselves. My name is Yoda. Yota. <laughs> Trust me, it's been hard to avoid saying that. Yeah, Dragon Dude, the dupes don't get bigger. They only change when you start the laps. That's the part I still remember. Nobody else's memory is much better shape. That's why I remember so little about myself. Everything is forgotten. But wait, you said that I managed to return. That means you remembered I was here. Yes, that's why it was so important to us. We saw you leave, but you were gone before we could approach you. Listen, we can't wander around in this emptiness anymore. There's a campfire and a few sleeping bags here. Real luxury in these dark times. What do you say? Well, of course, I'd be very grateful if we could team up. I want to restore everything. I've begun to remember the world as it was before. There's no point to it without other people. It's too lonely without them. Remembering the world. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm too exhausted. But we'd be glad if you could help us, and we'd be glad to help you. Just don't ask us to go with you. I don't know how you match to return, but for us, leaving the group is too dangerous. I will ask no such thing for you. For now, I just need a to have a place to return to. A place where I can hear other people's voices. We weren't joking about helping you. Here there are a few things that survived the cataclysm. And don't vanish away. You can't be forgotten. Take them. You might need them. Some extra wood, some food, and some stone. This is basically where a base camp is going to be for now. Literally. So, it's like, that's the whole point of this game. You go around it's there, you gather a bunch of resources, you come here, you build up your town, and eventually you'll become strong enough to face the being who did this. He's right here. But for now, let's see what we can build, shall we? We don't have enough food for the herbalist hut, nor do we have enough metal to make the smithy, but we have enough for the field kitchen. Which actually is really good. Just place it in any adjacent uh, tile. Do you know the difference between a good cook and a bad cook? The made food made by a good cook is tastier. What? What? You were waiting for something more elaborate? Sometimes the truth is very simple. Look, I have a cauldron, a hearth, a couple of knives, a bucket of potatoes, three onions, and some ham. Nothing special. Everything is very simple. But give me a few minutes and everyone in this camp will be running to my table, following the smell, the tasty smell of a good stew. Yep. Here, now we have 10% extra healing, and we unlocked a new card. Yeah, you don't want to just build these things for your own benefit, well, build these things for your own benefits, they also unlock different things, like the swamp cards, uh, village cards, and so much more. And some places can even give you new classes to play as too. But that's all in due time. For now we have a campfire, which by the way, we can demolish if we need more materials, or we can upgrade if we have the materials. Which usually is not that easy. But that's all for now. Now we can start our expedition again. But here we have the option to change what cards we want. From there we've unlocked two new cards. The Blood Grove and the Chrono Crystals. Issue is, down here you see, we can't have less than 7 cards, but we can't have more than 12. Have more than that and the game will let us go. You have to pick from a select few. So far it's simple. I'll explain you. I can probably explain you a little bit better too. Let's see. So we've seen pretty much every card, which I'm grateful the game gave us. The Blood Grove basically adds a new kind of obstacle to the Grove areas. You'll see when I place it, because I usually like using these. The Chrono Crystals basically just double the passing day when you're next to it. It can be useful for one specific ability the hero gets, but that's much, much later. For now, let's just continue. 
Yeah, see, that's how the loops change, Dragon Dude. You just add more to the. You just start, and the waistline becomes a new. That's all there pretty much is to it. There's so much to do, though. There's so many options for you to consider. Ow. Gotta keep working on. Gotta keep working on it to see just how far you'll want to go. Get some armor. And I guess with that, I'll stop exploring so much. Let's see some new options to stage here. Because the one thing I do want to change is I want to stop it where it pauses when hovering over. Oh, maybe just enemies. I want to keep it going when it's not hovering over items. There we go. That way we can just like keep the battle going while doing this. All right. Oh, perfect. I always love getting these cards first. Alright. So what do you all think of it so far? It's a very straightforward game, but depending on what you do, you can build up to have such a big camp. That's the whole idea of it. You build up stronger and stronger until you're ready to face what stopped this whole thing in the first place. Stop this whole thing. Started this whole thing. <laughs> well, technically, when you think about it, they did kind of stop the whole thing from existing, but this, you, you get the point. <laughs> oh god, here we go. Yeah, the skeleton is better. That's good to hear. And that's the thing, too. This game, since it's all story based and stuff, is very simple. Heck, Dragon Dude, I bet that you could play it on your uh, PC, even with how small, like, even with how it is, it's really good. Oh, that's a good shield. That's like, that's 12 defense and damage to all. Damage to all basically means that you do a little bit of damage to all the enemies in the room, instead of just targeting one enemy at a time. I like my regen more. So an extra card. No, it's the same. That and that gets extra. So far, things are pretty looking alright. More rocks and meadows. Always good to get more materials. Weapons, we got shields, we got armor, we got plants. Things are so good, are good so far. Let's see what else. Keeps giving me vampires and rings. You tempt me, but I don't want them if they don't heal me normally. I guess that's a cool thing, is like you can actually change, adapt to your playstyle with these games too. Like I like being a tank, so I like having a lot of health and vampires when I can get away with it. But who knows, maybe you want to focus on evasion. Maybe you want to focus on having more ways to dodge attacks so that you can be more agile and fiery things. Or, oh, that's good. Or you want to focus on having more counters so that you can counter enemies more often. These kinds of armor are my favorite because, look at that, that defense increase, and usually these are regens. We have a 1.8 regen. That is really good. Ugh, this so far in the game, I'm loving it. our invasion, but who cares? It's a bigger sword. I want to hit things harder. That decreases by one, but gives us even more regen. Wow, this game is just answering my prayers today. Okay, I'm fine with this. Yes, three health per tick. That is great. Alright. Let's see what else we can do. Ah, perfect. I was wondering where we are going to get one of these. Blood groves are interesting because... First off, I'm gonna put that there because I don't want to be an issue. It's 12 damage for 14. Nah, I'll keep it. 
Yeah, see the little, like, weird red thing? And those plants that appear? That's the blood growth going in effect. If it finds any kind of, like, living, like, blood being, you'll see what happens. For now, though, oh, I probably should put this graveyard down. There we go. Well, I should say. Yeah, this is great. Let's see. One more ring right. I think it's time to boost our region a little bit down, because, let's see, that gives us extra attack speed and counter, and this gives us... There. Wow, a lot of meadow cards. Yeah, the meadows give us food. That's what it was. Battlefield, put that here. Give us more armor. We're good. Yeah, those skeletons will do a lot of damage. It's oh, more damage, but uh, I think I'll just keep the great sword for now until we find something that completely outclasses it. Like how that shield does it. All right. Yeah, this is what the blood drop does. It basically takes a, any enemy that has less than 14, 15 health, it'll just, like, kill instantly. It's good, but the issue is, as the description of the blood roll says, which I'll talk in a sec, may spawn something dreadful from their remains. So maybe we're going to be to have too many of them on the field. Because something bad might happen if you do. Will that be? That's a good time. And there's another one of those goblin cans, and I don't have an oblivion card. That's gonna be fun to deal with. A shield gets regen. And then you have a situation like this, like, I want the extra regen, but do I really want it that badly? Oh, God, that's the question right there. It cuts our regen by, like, what? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 6? To increase attack speed, counter, and regen. Oh, that's right, yeah. There are also mimics in this game. They can spawn from the blood places, but, yeah. That's why you gotta be careful. Thankfully, though, they're not that annoying. They just kind of hurt. All right. More meadows. Vampire mansion. The vampires do count for blood. Not oh, blood. For living creatures, so they go here. I know something's going here. Put a spider nest. Yeah. I feel like we're making this a little too dangerous. Maybe we'll put this over here. And then this right here. There we go. That's one thing. Put everything in too much of one location and you make it too dangerous for yourself to survive. Alright. There are more rocky mountains. Well, they're just mountains, but I mean, they are rocky. Thank you. I showed off the goblins, but I don't like them that much. They're kind of ridiculous and overpowered. They can attack so fast, and when there's like a group of them, you just feel outnumbered. Oh god, that gives regen. Okay. How much regen do I have? I have 4.2 regen. That's actually not bad at all. Let's see, that gives... Nah, it's not that good. That's another thing. When you start having a lot of materials you don't want, they'll just slowly get turned into metal. It gives magic damage, but doesn't give anything else. Alright. Yeah, now these guys are starting to hurt like nuts. That's why I don't like having skeletons too close together. Oh my god, that's nearly a 100% increase. I'll see how it goes. If it gets too dangerous, then I'll switch out. Kind of like now, actually. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Increased defense. That's a lot of defense. You 
know what, now that I'm actually having more enemies spawn, it might be a good idea to switch out soon. You know what, screw it, yeah, no, let's do it. It's better to have the extra defense and not get killed. Look at that. Yeah, our region got cut in half, and now we're doing, taking a lot less damage. That's worth it. Let's see. And then it just gives us straight up more defense. I say that, but... Four, three, two, 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 two. That's the same shield. This gives us more defense. Okay, fine. Oh yeah, another thing to mention. Just because you think... Oh, just because you think that, you know... Is this teaching me a lesson not to just focus on region all the time? Fine. I was gonna say, oh, first off, throw blood girls look like it's gonna do something. Uh, the reason why you wanna focus on. Oh, that's my train of thought. Okay. I'll come back a bit. Yeah, and this is also a sign I gotta get back soon. This is going to be this. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, that's good for a backup just in case. Put that here. Dark boys. I gotta thank you for letting me know. I really need to get better at doing that. It's my bad. You learn some, you lose some. Okay. Done. Thank you both for that. I need to get on top of that. And I still appreciate you guys' help with that. Always. Again, happy to see a lot of like, folks coming to watch this. Appreciate y'all coming by, appreciate y'all watching me play these games. We're just going through some loop here right now. And where was I? Ah, yes. We're probably going to head back to camp after this because we're taking too much damage here. That's so little defense. That's so little defense too. And now you're just taunting me with that regen. 22 compared to like zilch. All right. Let's see. Extra attack by one point. Yeah, that's worth it. Those three spiders I'm not worried about. Spiders are not dangerous. I say that and watch how the next spider mod is going to kill me. Already, dang it. Thank you. Whew, I'm a little nervous. But we're good. Can we attack so fast now, though? That's good. Dang, I really wish I could have shown off what's going on with the blood growth, but if we go any further, we're going to lose everything, so it's better that we actually get back to base very soon. And I want to get there as safely as possible. Sorry about that, spiders. Maybe another time. So, let's retreat. We don't have too much, but... Oh! Another success! You've returned and we still remember you! Unbelievable! Yeah, it's good to be back, but I hardly call it success. All memories of the world are gone. The path is empty again, and there's only darkness everywhere I look. Interesting. So technically, you remember that there's a thing that you've forgotten. We should have found a way to use that. Let's talk about something more positive. We managed to tidy up the place, this time for the next step. What do you have in mind? Expanding the camp. We all have sorts of craftsmen, from cooks to alchemists, but they need a place to work. We can't use the materials from around here. You turn away for a second from a branch or a stone, and you've found, and you've found, and it's gone. I'm afraid only you can solve this problem. 
The materials that survive your trips always look more suitable for building. But these are just stones and splinters. How can we build something from them? Curious, eh? I noticed it with the fire you made. The things you obtained somehow infect everything similar with stability. Only in small amounts, but it's still something. Even a small branch is enough to make a wooden wall exist without constant supervision. Let's see. Gosh. We need more food, metal, and wood. Ah, oh, god. That's what I'm like. Also, we can finally see our stats to see everything we've done. No. <laughs> I didn't notice that at the bottom. Resources lost. Zero. You haven't lost any resources. You're a keeper, aren't you? I feel like in my... Oh, wow, all of them say that. You haven't been killed yet. Amazing. <laughs> Something tells me that I... Something tells me... In fact, with stability... It's weird to say, but yeah, no. Our hero has some weird way of basically... If they find a branch, it stays. Because the whole gimmick of this is... Not only was the world erased, but it stays permanently erased that way. Except for our main character. The hero, but that's their name as far as I know, the hero. Whatever they pick up or collect stays there. It doesn't fade away. If anyone else like collects a branch and they put it down for a sec and then they turn around to look for it again, it's gone. But our main character dude? No. Anything he picks up just stays. That's why they ask us to build everything here for them. Which I've also learned this is not all of it. It can actually get more and more complex. But yeah. We need to make our next step, which is either getting, the per is getting more metal and food. And that shouldn't be too difficult, because all we got to focus on is basically getting more groves, collecting a bunch of metal, and building more meadows. Hmm. I think in that case, I might want to focus on the Kronos Crystal, just so that gives us more days to go through. I can't believe I lost my try under my old thoughts, though. But I think it'll come back to me in due time. Okay. Oh, I love beacons. I wish I could place it down there, though. This is probably the best place for it for now. Oh, that's right. I also got a battle card. Alright, let's see where we can place this. Place it right here. Place the vampire mansion in the meadow right there. Jeez, what is it with words like meadow that throws me off? It's like meadow, meadow, la. Anyway, we get armor, we get weapons. Oh, that's another thing. Every time you also restart, you lose all your weapon and materials. So. The, well, not materials, but lose your weapons. Basically, don't worry about your weapons. You'll lose them anyway. Just focus more on getting all the materials you need until eventually you're strong enough to face whatever is going on here. But yeah, like I said, I'm just glad that I have a lot of people here joining me tonight. You know, hope y'all enjoying yourselves. Hope y'all are having fun watching the stream. Still starting out, but, you know, little by little we'll get there. Perfect. I think I'll hold on to that for a minute. At least until we can get more places we want to use that on. So, so far, so good. We're getting more stone, we're getting more food. Let's see. I guess in that case, I'd probably look at my notes to see what else I could talk about in terms of this game. Like I said, the issue with this game and uh, Space Otter Charlie is that they both came out not too long ago. So there's still not too much to talk about with these two games. I'm not sure in due time more development will come out, but for now, all we got is just that these games came out. They're really fun. People are enjoying them. I thought the hero could affect with the stability. What is the stability? What is this ability? Icky? <laughs> Sadly, I guess it is very selective on what he remembers. Even if it's literally a weapon that he used to save his life, yeah, I doubt that he'll remember. It's like, man, I remember this 
giant broken rake sword that gave me healing powers that saved me from the powers of the vampire. And then he just turns around and comes back and it's like, huh? What was that weird sword again? Ugh. I'm ten. Eh, why not? Sometimes it's better just having freeze attack power, even if they do, since, especially if they have bonuses to them. Finally, oh, they have rings for a while. What am I using them? Evasion, counter, and magic. I'll use evasion and counter. Huh? Magic, damage to all encounter. That's actually really good. Uh, let's see. I'll probably put this here. Yeah, there we go. Now we got a full cycle of places where we fail speed up. Perfect. And here's the big thing, is like, this game is a roguelike. So that's a roguelite, I should say. So if that's the kind of game you're into, then this game will definitely keep you busy for a while. Because that's all it's about. Building up, getting stronger, until eventually you can reach the end. Because if you're wondering, the main objective is basically to fill up this bar. If you can't do that, though, then it's best to just keep working on it until then. Also, don't be like me and just start dying a lot, because, again, you lose like 60% of your backpack items if you backpack materials if you do that, which can make this game go so much slower. Oh yeah, here's the Chrono Crystal, by the way. You'll see that effect later when we get close to them. For now, let's just keep going. More giant rocks. More slimes, more treasure chests. Oh, that contains some real nice armor. Alright, let's take that. Oh god. Yeah. If you're wondering, by the way, the maximum of enemies you can fight at a time is 5. Which might be a little dangerous if you're not ready for it. Thankfully, the game, the game doesn't just start instantly throwing all enemies at you. It takes it a while before it gets to that point. Oh, hey. Oh, it doesn't have anything. No, thank you. Just kill it already! Jesus. Vampires can be very annoying. They basically heal off your HP. Here. Let's see. Ooh. That's actually really good. Let's see. Nothing else here. Oh, that's what... Oh, yes. Please. Thank you. I guess I can start playing. But yeah, when we approach it, watch the time bar here and see how fast it goes. Look at that. That's like lightning quick. Well, I can't tell if it doubles it. Doubles the effects of a day's passing on adjacent tiles. Yeah, the effect of a day's passing. I can't tell if that means like the day's going by faster or the abilities focused on days going by faster is affected. Stuff. We got vampirism, which gives us attack speed. Oh, screw it, I'll take that. And then, why not? I'll speed up time here. Spiders. Oh! Straight up gave me another one of these lantern cards. Fine, I'll take it. Where would I put it, though? Probably here. Just to reduce the amount of spiders we'll have to deal with. Here so that we have a mountain peak. And finally, let's put this here so it's still in the area of the uh, light. Let's see, extra here. No. There, and put this there. Yeah, like, so far, so good. Heck, we're already getting strong enough where we can survive longer days. Maybe if I do well enough, heck, we're still ahead of time. Maybe we might even be able to see what the enemy, what the boss we fight here is when we get that far. And I, oh, I hate it when it gives me so many of these cards. Cemeteries are some of my least favorite cards just because of how dangerous the skeletons can be. 
you have like a bunch of them forming together, it can quickly go into a bad situation. Defense. Let's see, what else? Robes. Perfect. Did it turn to a blood? No, it didn't. It doesn't always do it. God, the chests are even taking extra damage now. That's an increased damage, but did it lose the vampires? I don't need vampires on as much. Now I'm second guessing myself. I'm fuck it. I need more damage. More damage is always better. Alright. That's extra defense. That's extra armor. That we didn't get armor right now. More chrono crystals. Chrono crystals. Isn't that name of a We're surviving it more. Just increase defense and counter. <sighs> no, it's not worth it. Let's add more rocks right here. There we go. Pull up on that one. Rose. Ooh, get more armor and weapons. I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. Sorry about the Chrono Trigger. I know about Chrono Trigger, but I also remember, like, I know there's also Chrono Cross, but is there anything else? I guess there's one less defense for all that. I'll take it. And that one extra defense is gonna bite me in the ass later. Yeah, see, that's the max amount of enemies you can fight. And it really shows how bad a situation can get. That's why you want to be careful, especially when you start getting crazy. You don't want to get too full where you're going to have a situation that's out of your own league. But thankfully, this situation is in our league. Oh, that's this. Orb of Expansion. I don't even remember how we got that, but still. Oh, hello, Goblin Camp. Goodbye, Goblin Camp. I don't like you. Goblin Camps have killed me on too many runs to count. Let's see. Oh my god, extra armor with extra regen! Yes, please! I think I'll see. I should have mentioned one thing, too. You don't have to be exactly on top of your campfire to run away. You can actually be like... Well, here's the, the run icon will tell you. When the run icon basically starts running itself, that means you're close enough to the camp where you can get a safe getaway. Any farther though, I can show off here. If you try to run now, you'll lose all these materials. So it's best to probably stay until you're ready to... until you're close enough. Alright. Speaking of which, we're almost there actually. We've got a lot of good walls here. A lot of good metal, a good amount of food. Good amount of wood. I think we have enough to maybe build one. Ah, oh, dude, thank you. Also, just put this here. Another cool thing about lanterns is that their abilities do stack, so now only two enemies can spawn there. Let's see. This here. This here. Put this here. Yeah, watch. When the character starts running like this, that means you can safely return the cap to keep all your resources. Sorry, I just want to see here. It's tempting to stay, but I think I want to guarantee I can build something. Not that. Build? Yes. Let's see. So, you start with an exhibition. You start an expedition with basic warrior gear. That's good. Unlocks the ability to craft tools for the camp. If this little pipe depot is built. So, you got to build that if you want to actually get it. That's much later down the road. 
we can also build the herbalist hut, which gives you the potions you need. Because, yeah, no, the game not only just gives you the options to start game, this also basically affects how your mechanics are going to go. This gives you equipment, this gives you potions, and this gives you experience. Ugh, oh, they're all so tempting. But I think with what I have left, I think it maybe it might be a good idea to start with my favorite mechanic. So let's start with the gymnasium. Right here. So that's how it works. Instead of remembering something, you can just learn it again. Nice trick. There's no ill intent. Without education, our world would be left to the savages. You could learn a few things, though. We could all get together and share useful knowledge and skills. Nah, I already know all I need to. Leave learning to the kids. Your first lesson? Learn to like learning. That would make life easier for both of us. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see, can we build anything else? Oh wow, we can actually build the herbalist hut. Perfect. I'll just put that right next to it. It's a miracle that we could find some fertile soil. We were able to save some of the seeds from precious healing herbs. But the magic miracle, but the real miracle is that all these healing po politics and bombs still have any effect. We've already lost many people because of the cataclysm. It would be nice not to lose more disease. And these potions will also help you. Take a bottle or two for your trip, and your chances of getting back unharmed will be much higher. She's not wrong. Let's see, that's all we can build so far. Smithy, we need more metal. Heck, <laughs> the, the refuge, we need more wood, metal, and food. So this is going to be a big expedition next time, but this next one, I think, is going to be the one that's going to take the longest... And, hell, I don't mind, like, using it to show the boss off if we have time. Because now we've unlocked the village. We've unlocked the village card. This is one of my favorite mechanics I do in the game. We have also unlocked the swamp, but the swamp itself isn't that useful. Basically, it means any potion effects, any items, that, any healing items, like vampirism, that anyone uses, actually take away health instead of gaining it. I never got the mechanic. Maybe y'all can find something for it, but I can't. The village card, though, is good. Basically, it's like a mini campfire. When you run into it, it gives you extra health, but they also give you a little quest to work on. Here's the thing, though. That's not all we unlock by unlocking the gymnasium. Our potions are here. You'll notice how our HP now has an extra bar on the bottom. That's experience points. Yeah. This game ain't just, you know, powering yourself up with weapons. You can also power yourself up, period, with experience. Though the experience doesn't buff your stats, what it does is uh, it unlocks special abilities. You all will see in due time what I mean. Alright, so let's get more of down. gotten rid of the cemetery and replaced it with the blood group. That would have made things a little more interesting. Actually, I should have done that. Technically, I still can. You know what? Yeah, no, I'll do that real quick. I can also show off, like, yeah, if you lose, you'll lose these items, but we don't have too much to lose. And in fact, I want to see what it says now. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't say anything anymore. Man. It's such a nice little touch, and it's something that you usually will never see. So let's get rid of the cemetery and replace it for the blood grave. Alright, let's go. Alright, that's one thing is like the game doesn't punish you too much if you restart. At least if you restart right away. The longer you take, the more it's punishing it gets. Alright. Now it's time to start my, one of my favorite mechanics to do in this game. I, I usually try to put villages far away, like opposite of the campfire, so you have an little extra healing point. But there's a little bonus you can do with villages that are right here, that you'll see as soon as I start setting it up. First of all, we finally got our first weapon. Let's see what one of us will get. Finally. Now here's the thing. Hungry eyes follow your every move through the holes in the roof. Right? 
So, what would happen if we accidentally put a village right next to the vampire hut? Ransacked village. The farmers couldn't fight off a hungry vampire. They could still fight off you, though. It spawns four ghouls, but it also transforms into something useful after three loops. At first, this seems like a real bad thing. Yeah, you have now to deal with extra enemies that you maybe didn't expect. But, if you're able to fight them off for long enough, you can actually get something even better than villages. Because remember what the vampire said. He said, you know, when our hero first talked to the vampires, they said, where are your uh, farms and your lions, lands? You know, what happened to them? Well, that's not only a hint about the lore, that's also a hint about some extra land use you can use. Y'all see in due time. For now, though, let's just keep going. That seems like a bad idea at first, but in the first two weeks, remember, the game will make it, will not kill you right away, especially since you have potions now, which makes it a lot easier to survive. Oh uh, yeah, that's how the potions work. That little blue dial of our health will show us when our potions will go off. The weird thing is, the more potions you have, the higher it will take to go off. So, you don't use the potions right away, they use it automatically when you use a health threshold, like that. So it basically keeps your health at a degree. The fewer you have, the more you cherish. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's one of them. We just gotta survive two more of those, and we should be good. Good hand sword, but not as high level as this one. I can tell because this one only one shots everything. Another good thing to do is these. Road lanterns are very useful when it comes to taking care of these because remember, it decreases the amount of enemies that can appear on tile by one. So now instead of having to fight four ghouls and a vampire, we only have to fight three ghouls and a vampire. Much more manageable. Especially since the next level is going to get stronger. Though, of course, if you want to make it a challenge, you can always put another village right there. But, I'm not going to do that. Also, yeah, new area too. Bandit camp. Every time you have new villagers, it will spawn a bandit camp nearby. And you'll see what those offer later. Gives me so much to talk about, I'm usually not out of things to say. Because yeah, look at that, three enemies instead of four. Sorry, three enemies. Four enemies instead of five. Yeah. Oh, and a lot of health, thank you. That's good. A better shield. It's nearly double for less for no evasion, that's fine for me. Besides, I need to show off the village's actual abilities first. I can't do that if they're all dead. You know, I gotta make sure that I can show off what the village can do. And then I'll kill them. Okay. Do I want to put that there? Because putting it next to the other village won't work. By the way, the, only, the whole village thing only works if it's, like... In the, di in the diagonal directions of the vampire place. If you put it... So, sorry. Yeah, if you put it in, like, the diagonals and not adjacent, then they won't work. I'm not saying this four times right. I am out of it. Hey, I don't remember you. You don't look like a local. That's because I'm not. I see. And you think you can just wander these parts without consequences? Times are rough, you know. Nothing to bite, nothing to wet one's whistle. And we have to deal with strangers who have no sympathy for our poverty. What, think you're better than us? No. 
I guess right? Is this the correct answer? Because I'm getting the impression this is one of those cases where my answer has zero influence on what happens next. Well, you've got insight, and it's the only thing you will keep today. By the way, this guy was a part of a quest. That's why his health is 200 times. That's also why he has the golden ornate around his health. That means he's a little more tricky to defeat. But, if you are able to kill him, you get a lot of experience. Think of it. Murderers and thieves are a part of this world, too. If my mission is to return everything back to normal, should I be happy they're appearing again? On the other hand, being disgusted with murder and theft is also part of this world, so I guess I don't owe it to anyone to be happy. Yeah. You get a lot of experience, and next time you go back to this town, which actually is a whole loop because of that, they'll give you another item, basically. Another piece of equipment that's usually better than what you can find. Also, yeah, we got enough experience that we got a new trait. These are your passive abilities. You can get up to three, you can choose up to three at a time. Card Sharp gives you a 10% chance of keeping a card you use. Blissful Ignorance basically gets rid of all the cards you have now and replaces them with Oblivion cards, which also heal the hero by 10% whenever he uses one. And Survivalist basically allows you to double your regen when your health is below 30. Out of all of these, I think Card Sharp is probably the most important one so far. And if you ever need to look at your stats, you can always look at it from the same button you use to upgrade. Alright. So yeah, that's one of my strategies I like using. The other one is actually setting up a Blood Grove. You'll see that very soon. In the meantime, I'll just place this here. I think this is the second loop, right? Yes! So now this has turned into the Count's Land. The land, the village, is thriving under the vampire's protection and its inhabitants are very generous. It basically turns into a better village that heals you for a lot more and also gives you a same quest but gives you better rewards. These are what's so worth it. If you can transfer, you know, normal items and these, you can basically get so much better items and materials out of it, making your survivability so much better. Of course, the main drawback is you gotta deal with this before you even get a chance to interact with it. But if you can pull it off, it is more than worth it. the longer it goes, the harder it gets. But in due time, if you can power through it, the rewards are well worth it. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, I just need to check something real quick. I'll be back. Slimes. Good. Ah! We had to use a potion. I hate that. Perfect. That... Look at all that! Nice! Alright. So far, we're doing pretty good for ourselves, honestly. 30 extra health for a little more regen. Ah, regen always taunts me, man. I swear. Is that 20 more health? No, that's 30. Worth. And yeah, another thing. Every time you replace a weapon, I should have mentioned this. Jo uh, Dragon Dude, if you think the idea that you lose your weapon when you're in camp is stupid, then think of it this like this. Anytime you drop a weapon for a new one, the old one just vanishes out of thin air. I don't even know how or why. Maybe that armor wasn't a good idea. Yeah, no, that armor was a bad idea. I think my head was going to this. Or head to the campsite. Just up. There we go. After this, it seems like we might have just enough to move more of Oh, God. Things are getting tricky, alright. Especially in the two bandits here. 
Oh, look at that. They give me really good armor. Really good armor, actually. Five extra evasion. How much of it is my evasion? Let's see. My base. Okay. I can go with extra evasion. After this... Maybe I'll see if I can get far enough to at least fight the boss. We'll see. That's a... Oh, God. Alright. I knew that was gonna happen. Goodbye. Between bandit camps and... Goblin types. I think the bandit village, the bandit camps are actually better. They don't hurt me as much. Man, I barely got anything that time. But that was because I was showing off. Can we build anything? Okay. All right. I think with that I've explained well enough all the mechanics here. All that's left is to just play the game and see what happens. Let me see if there's anything I want. I'm pretty good for now. Alright. So yeah. Let's go. This time we're gonna see if we can make it to the boss. And the setup here is pretty decent, actually. I'm gonna try doing the method I explained, so I don't think there's much left to explain, thankfully. We're just gonna make our mission and try to get to the boss. I'm not ready for it. I don't feel like I am, but I at least want to show off what happened in the gym. And maybe at that point what happens when you die. <laughs> I guess in that case. I wanna say that this music is really good. It's the music you think that's adventurous, but also passive. Gives you a lot of time to think, but also makes you remember that you're in still journey to save the world. Also, I'm sorry. I, I cannot see it. This map looks like a giant dagger, doesn't it? <laughs> Just like a little giant ass dagger. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, perfect. Regen's always a good start. Whoops. Sorry about that. Regen, perf. Uh, I'm saying that about everything right now. It's a blood growth, though. That's the thing. More cards. Perfect. All we need is a vampire mansion, and we're all set. Yeah. 
so the reason why I put this here is because now both villages are in, are in the range of the lantern. So both of them will only have three. That's what I was going for. And then we have two, and we have two council lands, which is not a bad at all. In the meantime, I'm just looking through my notes again for my sure, uh, loop hero, which Like originally the original version of this game, the demo that was on, Luden, on the Luden Bear uh, game jam, actually was considered a very broken button. A very broken game originally compared to this. But they kept with it to see how far it would go. And eventually they went with where they are now. They even mentioned how the game originally pitched the game originally. The original concept of the pitch was practically impossible. Which I could see, like, how can you convince someone that a game like this would work? A character that just runs the same path over and over again. Uh, fighting to break free. Alright, with another one of these. Now this one only has two to fight. It's interesting, you know. A lot of folks say, like, it's hard to... It's interesting to see uh, Sorry, man, dude. What do you see? I, I, I was a little occupied studying stuff. I'm sorry, man. But, yeah. <laughs> also, the developers seem to be Russian-based, which is definitely interesting. Which kind of explains, like, the old folklore version of this, alright? You get increased damage for potion aftertaste. See, HP loot for an adjacent roadside tile. Does that mean you get extra HP? I'll take it. Yeah, a lot of good games that have interesting concepts can get shot down just because, you know, the concept can be hard to explain. But it still doesn't mean that you shouldn't not go for it. You gotta you know, sometimes put it into action. Also, I realized I was putting armor this whole time. I am an idiot! God dang, I wonder I had so low health. By the way, another good thing about campfires is every time you get there, not only does it, you know, give you all of your... refill some of your health, it also gives you two potions every time you go through it. So it gives me magic defense, it gives me actual defense, it increases my power speed, and gives me counter at the risk of losing 6 regen. That's kind of worth it. This time we're playing to win. Let's see. So we're going to use this to remove the camp. I should have used that to remove the goblin. God dang it. Oh well. Don't need extra blood though. I will take that mountain though. Oh, thank you. I'll take the goblins, but I will not take another camp. Those things are annoying to deal with. Alright, so we have one we need to go through when it comes to fighting those guys. Hopefully, that'll make it even easier for us. How much does this give us? 9 compared to 10. It doesn't give us regen. This gives us a lot of regen. And it keeps our magic attack the same. Yeah, we're taking it. 
Okay, here we go. If we can survive this, then we'll have the two great ones. And that'll be perfect. Let's see if we survive it. So far, so good. Yeah, nah, we got this. We got it. Ah, yes! Perfect. It's such a big, it's such a trivial thing, man, but it means a lot because I just don't want you to, you know. <laughs> okay. Material. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Alright, let's start building one more, shall we? Oh, that's a special slime. I don't exactly know what's special about him, though. <laughs> you think we've. I think we've already met. No. What do you mean, no? You want to save the world? You want to ask for help? Our answer is no. How did you... But why no? We see far away. We see deep inside. For a long time, there has been just emptiness instead of the sky. But it does nothing. It does not stop us, stop us from seeing. Your saving of the world is one-sided and naive. Each person sees their own way of saving the world. That's why no one will ever join you. Fine. I don't fully understand it. Tell me your version. What does to save the world mean to you? My po my progeny, my prodigy, what? My progeny and my kin. For them to be strong and to live. It is the part of the cycle of life and death. It is life itself. It is the world. I will kill you and feed your remains to my starving younglings. Then life will go on. And how many lives does your blade give birth to by killing again and again? Only one. You nor your children to die from starvation. Please, try to see a reason. If the mission succeeds, harpies can have all the sky and all the hunting grounds they need. I can't feed me old children with your beautiful words. It's time to say goodbye. <coughs> Dang. That's kind of deep. I feel awful. By fixing one evil, I've become a source of another. I don't hope for harpies except the highest mountains. But there's no food there how they managed to survive. Their mountains were cut from reality. Yeah. Really makes you think, doesn't it? Ah, oh, I just made two blood groves. Crap! Should have thought about that. That's gonna be fun to deal with. Well, speaking of which, we're about halfway through. I at least want to see if we can fight the boss. Well, it depends. No, I think we're fine fighting the boss. We don't have too much here to lose. And booyah, look at that. Two beautiful villages. Oh god, that's like 50 less defense. I don't know if I want that. Hello? I'll take that. Also, yeah, I'm, I'm checking the time, by the way. I'm making sure we ain't running low. Of course. Do I want to... Yeah. They're in the middle, so it's not going to be that hard to kill, because I basically get a full heal before I fight them anyways. Okay, another set. Yeah. Oh, so much beautiful stuff! Love it! I also have all this stuff I don't need, though. I don't need any extra vampire mansions. I also don't like having extra spiders all over the place. They're creepy. Well, okay, I'll at least put a few here. And... The town spokes are okay living next to a spider nest, right? <laughs> yeah, man. It always feels good to get the extra better villages. They're always worth it. 
except when you get over your head and you end up making too many of them. Ah, uh, just like the gen. That's vampirism, but I'm fine without it. Here, I put this here. Okay, you'll get to see what the better villages do this time, too. They're really worth it if you can do it. It's a big risk, but if you can pull it off, you baby. It's a good one. Especially when you can do stuff like this. Which I don't need to do. Put it in here instead. Because you want to have at least... Basically, this is my optimal setup. Have a grove, a blood grove, a spider cocoon, and a road lantern. All adjacent to a grove. You'll see why later on. For now... Look at that health, man. That is a nice health boost. A nice health boost right there. Of course, I lose it all just because these slimes are starting to hurt like crazy. I'll put this here, and I'll start building around it. Uh, how long is this blood go? I don't want to have- ah, uh, wow. That did nothing. Okay. I will try to go for extra defense, but I think that's all the defense I have right now. I lies, I have a little more here. Yeah, it's better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, as you can see, like, it can get real bad real fast. Maybe this was a bad idea. Oh, crap. Extra health. Damage increased by 20 defense value. Oh! Perfect! Article of, of Protection. This basically gives you an extra health bar on top of your health bar. But the thing about this health bar is it only resets... It's only there until you get back to the loop, to the start of the loop. Once you get back to the start of the loop, then you have your full health bar again. So far, we're doing pretty good for ourselves. Whew. All that health, man. Good bonuses. Good bonuses. Yeah, and your normal health will deplete first before your actual health, so that might have actually saved our run right there. Jesus, that was close. Extra armor, extra axes, extra chests. Whew, that's a big defense drop. I'd rather not. Blood grow right here, though. So yeah, now they, they gotta break through our actual health defense first before they can get to our actual health. Which is very good. And guess who's getting an extra material drop? Booyah! Health for more vampires. It gives us a bit more regen, but also gives us vampires. That's perfect. Don't need the attack speed. It does 10 times less damage. It's not worth it. Okay. Oh, wow. Hello! Thank you! Like, that's the thing, we're not even taking actual damage yet. That's just our, that's just how good our, like, little protection is. And I'll take that shield gladly. Numbers are going up, we're getting stronger, we're getting there, man. We're getting there. In fact, I think I might have found my optimal setup right here, unless we get items that give us straight up more buffs. Oh god! And this is why I hate vill and this is why I hate those villages. Jesus Christ. That's why I hate goblin villages, man. They just they drain you so much, so fast. Thankfully, we were able to take care of it easily. For now. Oh great, that's not that's not only uh help us as a host. Thankfully we took care of it. Because the rest of these guys could fall down like flies. 
and they're getting more health back than they are hurting us for. This is great. Let's see what else we can do. There's an extra shield with more defense. I'll take that. We're almost there, too. I can see it. Maybe I might want to remove that village, that ravaged village, though. I feel like that's going to kill us soon. We'll see in time, man. We'll see. Close to all the attack power I need. That guy. Take care of the other guy. Take care of this dude. And booyah. Put that out here. Out of expansion. I wish I could have had a little there. I'm just saying, this might get bad. Real fast. We'll see. Because, like, it's five enemies attacking at once. That does a lot of damage. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Jeez. That will make the rest of this journey a lot easier, man. Oh yeah, because they got it there. So, they're actually a week. Because well, they only have three eggs on that thing. Besides, only one goblin on one of those guys. Should be fine. Increase attack speed. That's actually really good. Look at that. A lot faster. Even if that dude's chopping our faces off, we can still beat him to death. That should be enough. After that, we should still... When we make it, when we get the loop, it should give us three good villages. Oh, I can't wait. It's a rock. How do you miss a rock twice? Ugh. <laughs> Did someone answer me that? How do you miss a rock twice? Yeah, I just got so many here. In fact, I'll put a village right here, just as I can. And of course, I forgot it spawns that because it's a fourth village. Whoops. More rocks. Oh yeah, by the way, you can't fill up on too many cards, but what happens is the card that fills up goes away and adds to an extra, another item you could need. I'll make it to the boss. Oh yeah, no. We just need like two more placements. And we're gonna be at the boss. Let's see, in fact. Please give me a card. Well, that's not the card I want. Now we need three. Thank you. Okay, that's one. That's two. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Yes! Now, you'll get to see what the boss can do. So, oh god. <laughs> it's a scary rock. I can see that. Yeah. This. The incursion. Radiates with powerful energy that devours space and time itself. It's time to face the destiny of this world. The delicious palace are these extra items that spawn around it. Basically, with one he has, it increases the boss's health by five. But speaking of which, let's go. How? How is this even possible? That's right! He didn't devour me like the rest of the world! Haven't I? Do you really... You, do you really don't think so? What are you talking about? I'm standing right here in front of you! I can see all of your reality. Every one of its elements now rests in a separate pocket dimension. Space, human beings, information, even memories. They shall remain there until entropy does its work. 
turning everything into a uniform static mass. Along with you, of course. You're insane! So, what do we have here? Sorry. see any exceptional talents or knowledge in you. You hardly even understand what is happening. I'll tell you what's happening. A pile of bones is butchering my world and thinks that it can get away with it. You're already doomed and you know it. Perhaps you're just the first in a series of systematic errors. A problem I must learn to solve. Let's not waste any time. I don't think you're capable of feeling regret, but I'm about to change that. <laughs> yeah. He does a lot of damage, so it's less about how much we can hurt him for, it's less about what we can do, and more about how much we can last before he basically kills us. With all of his pals around him powering him, I don't know if we'll have the strength to fight him, or even beat him, but we'll try. Oh, we'll try. Uh... <laughs> this is cutting in close, actually. I don't know if we will or not. I don't think we will, but we'll see. Come on. No! Come on! Yes! Dude! Nonsense. This is impossible. For so many reasons. I don't understand. Put everything back, like it was before. I can't. I've already completed my task. Even if the result is not perfect. You are in no position to refuse, you sack of bones. He's already received everything I could gather. I just wanted to see how a crusade against the universe would end. To witness what would come of it, my presence is no longer required. Who is he? I get it. You're connected somehow, right? That's why. You will find out soon enough. This anomaly will not escape his attention. Now my explanations would be meaningless to you. So spare me your wheezing and just die. If that sack of bones was telling the truth, I have a long journey ahead. I will build my whole world from scratch if I have to. And the skull of that monster will be the first brick in its foundation. I'll give them that. They know how to intimidate. <clears throat> and yeah. I still can't believe it. Oh my god, I... This is probably the first time I've ever done this so early. Dude. That... Oh, I never expected that to work. That was great. That was great. <laughs> anyway. So now we have the ability to basically unlock new traits. You don't get these right away. But what it does is it basically allows you to get... Later on, when you unlock new abilities here, you can pick from one of these. If not, you can also just collect a bunch of assortment items. Either one works. Uh, I think I'll probably get Axis Tilt for now. And even then, you can choose to continue or retreat, but you know, choosing to continue now would probably be deadly because you're low on health after fighting the Lich. Usually, it's best to just stay. Also, the Orb of Immortality, which is pretty much a Lich's skull, is what you need here if you want to keep any items if you die. But yeah, no, screw that. I'm not leaving. I'm, I'm not going. I'm staying. I'm going back to the town. I ain't gonna lose all that. Everybody, listen. The Lich is dead. The curse has been lifted, but... What Lich and what curse? I believe you, of course, but I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't remember? The dead sorcerer? Yeah, it's also good that I'm stopping soon because frames are dropping real quick. Don't worry. You remember the Dead Sorcerer, the one with a fur coat holding a scepter, all thrown up in star nebulas, floating above the world on his shining wings and eating it piece by piece? That's strange. Everyone, everything looks the same around here. Why? I guess he's not the only reason for this darkness, though. Hmm. The skeleton has mentioned him. Whoever he is, he must have something to do with the obliteration of the world. Seems I have no other option but to continue my expeditions. Oh. <laughs> I 
I didn't even get a chance to show off how what happens when you die. And I kind of don't want to. I just want to end it on that good note, because, dude, I've never done that without dying once in the dude. That's amazing. Okay, but let's gather our bearings a bit. Let me at least build up the town, and then we'll be done for the night. So as you can see, uh, some towns have, like, arrow icons. I really need to update them with that, but sadly, we don't have it for that. We do have it for the field kitchen, though. But the truth is, do we want that, or do we want to build something new? So this would give us basic armory, which is fine, but this would give us a new class, I believe. Oh wait, no, this would give us a new... This basically gives us passing through cemetery on the expedition against your memory effect. Oh, okay. This makes um, a little better. But that aside, um, well... <laughs> All it really does is just, yeah, it gives you... A chance to bring you back to life after you get an upgrade. But nah, I think I. I want to upgrade this actually. There we go. Congratulations, hero. The news cauldrons will make life better, not just for you, but for the whole camp. You can write down a new recipe to celebrate. Mix four chopped potatoes, half a grated cheese wheel, atop a pot of sour cream, and then bake for an hour. Only fried eggs are easier to cook than this. It sounds really good, actually. Whew, God. Now that was a good note to end on. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And I guess, you know, to say my farewells, like I said, Loop Hero came out of about... I have the date right here. What am I doing? It came out fourth, March 4th of this year, so it's still pretty new. It's not a game that's heavily extensive, you know. Anybody's computer could play this game, I feel. And, like I said, even then, even after we supposedly stopped the end of the world, there's still more to it. If you really want to see what's further on, I'd recommend getting this game. This game is fun. Like, you saw me play it. And maybe it's not as fun to watch someone play it, but imagine yourself slowly building the world, getting powerful, doing things like building up your own undead towns and stuff. <laughs> and then fighting off the lich on your first try. Like, here's the thing, he actually has dialogue for when you have to if you have to fight him again and again. I didn't have to see any of that. Whew, God. I feel good. That's all I can really say. So yeah, let me just get that real quick. So let's see, copy page your own. There it is. Let me get that and post it right here. And there you go. That should be Loop Hero's gimmick page. Gimmick page. Steam page. The only issue is, of course, the game is only available on PC right now. But I feel like with how good this game is going for, I would not be surprised if it'll eventually go into like a console. Granted, that'll be a little difficult since it's more of a touchscreen based game, you know? You don't activate anything, you mostly just pick and choose from whatever you're doing. So I can see it being a little difficult to migrate, but I don't see it being impossible. It's definitely not like severed. But yeah, that being said guys, I'm glad you could all join with me tonight. I can see that the stream viewers actually went up quite a bit, and I am very happy for that. I am grateful for anybody who just comes by to even take a glance at my stuff. Next week, we'll see what we'll have. I don't know what to do because there's so many games. Actually, speaking of Severed, maybe I could try that. Though that one might require a bit of a special setup. But man, if I can get it to work, I will love playing that game of them all. <sighs> For now though, I think I'm ready to call it a night. This has been a great stream. I went through uh, Space Otter Charlie, which was fun and silly and goofy. And then we went through, a, like, the first chapter of Loop Hero with not a hitch. This could not have gone better. Ugh. In fact, I want to ask you guys. Do you think maybe I should try considering... Uh, considering... Continuing my Loop Hero runs for Sunday. I would not be against that at all. It would be great fun. Because... 
to tell you the truth, I play this game in the middle of the night. I love this game that much. I mean, it shouldn't be as obvious. I love roguelikes. This is my bread and butter. With that aside, yeah. Again, I thank everybody who came by today. I thank y'all for watching me just play through this. I'm grateful that all of, for everyone who decided to come here and just, you know, give me a watch. It's been real fun. We'll just wait a bit to see what people think, and then we'll just call it for now. <sighs> I'm still kind of shivering. Alright. I think it's good to call it there. Thank you all for watching. Next week we'll be doing some more. Though I don't think that's the end of the streams. If y'all are interested, this Sunday I do a more casual stream where I just sit down and play a game with some friends. 